established boundaries. No more killing each other. Did we though? I don't... Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what session you were in, man, but. I mean, I'm. Uh, yeah, I don't. Know. My guy's covered in Wh wishful blood. thinking. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. We interrupted a, a teenage makeout session. That was fun. Highlight of the night right there. Uh, I don't know what session you were at. I'm pretty sure the highlight <laughs> happened later. Oh, I was slinging that wolf dick. From uh, Punching Peter off Man. an ogre's cock was probably the best thing that yeah, happened, That was honestly. good, too. That was real good. I like that I smell like popcorn. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of dick, dick punching. Yeah, so we interrupted some some touchy feely action, uh, and then our robot kindly sent us down an elevator because he's he's such a nice robot. And then we fought three ogres, and one of us sadly perished. That's the second half of the uh, adventure, the yeah, last session half. anyway. First half was like you guys interviewed Cole on the bridge, and then Cole took you back to her room at the Blue Moon. Uh, Pesta ate some some shitty food from the innkeeper. Couldn't really hear him. Uh, <clears throat> that's about the time that Bloomberg woke up. Uh, Bloomberg is currently asleep right now. He's filling out medical report forms, and he's asleep on the corpse of Wardroom uh, on the floor. Every time he rages, he falls asleep. Nice. And we have to carry him around. <laughs> yeah, really? I mean, he's an okay. old man, just like... Yeah. The, the... He, he's getting up there in them goblin years, I'll tell you that right now, well, so... How heavy is he? Yeah, I don't know, he's holding up... He's not that heavy, I'll tell you, he's a goblin, so... He just ate a whole load of in one bite. Yeah, yeah, just fucking he's kill boss at that. Yeah, kill boss at that. Mm -hmm. Um... You see, like, the shape of the dick now? Like, I just picture, like... <laughs> But your investigations, you know, led you back to the to the bar, so he's and not uh, here yet. guys dressed he's up dead. the robot to go in incognito and uh, be I distressed, tried. and <laughs> that didn't really pan out much because then, you know, but you still made the bouncer sit on a dick, so it was, I guess, a win. It was a W in your guys' book. Dude, it's you guys, a W in my book. Then you guys went up to the to the Mithril Towers section, and you wandered into the Unicorn Estate of uh, oh, my notes. the the Orions, and um, you discovered that uh, the Orions are being blackmailed because they keep kidnapped the Cyan of the House of Sun, and uh, he, the Vistai, the Kalistar, <clears throat> uh, number two to the main dude. Has uh, oh, is that Harley? Well, how are you now? Good, and you? Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> He's up. No, it's not quite there yet, but you'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, the fucking the Cal the Calistar led you guys to the elevator, which led into the lesbian encounter that you guys broke up. But whooping your dicks out, you guys went down into the to the ruins of the cogs where you attracted the the attentions of the three ogres that were left to guard the elevator which the then led to a battle which one of you sadly off. perished for unbeknownst reasons that you guys will that you guys worked out yourself at the end of the last session and um so that's kind of where we are right now there's not combat really going on i mean if you guys want to look at the map again i can bring it up kind of where you guys ended at i'm taking those ogre dicks the remaining yeah so everyone can look at the map of like where you guys are if you want to so that's, yeah. that's kind of search, like, do we search the ogres? I don't remember where we left off. I don't think we did, right? No, no, we didn't, we didn't no, search no, anything. No, like combat ended. There was some RP that happened, and then we called it. So no searching, no investigating has happened. Um, you guys haven't searched corpses or anything. You guys are still kind of in the entrance there with those two giant braziers, and then like the crates and shit in the doorway. But now there are three ogre corpses instead of three ogres. One of them is dickless. The other two still have their dicks intact. Oh, they're coming point. off. 
I'm punching them off right now. I'm taking those dicks. Okay. So he is he is uniting the ogres. Do you wish to take the the the, the mountain oysters as well? So well, we're just all throw, we're throwing it all in the bag of holes. That Brandon has. Taking okay, it all. So... Is that a so have... cobalt tradition to do that to corpses? That's a that's a lot of protein, dude. That's a lot of good. It's good for you. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna make several great sausages out of that. We got a taste for goblin cock or uh, for ogre cock here in the city. It's a delicacy. Put a little motor oil on it. Mm. I'm also taking the boardroom stick. What is wrong with them? <laughs> Yikes. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna search Crumpkin, and is there anything on Vordrum's body of, of interest? Whatever he had. So I don't know what he has. Aside from maybe the skulls around me. He has, he has a backpack, a book, a crowbar, a crystal, two daggers, a hammer, a hand axe, a holy symbol. Uh, he has a flask of holy water. Which is weird on a warlock, but whatever. Um, ink, one ounce bottle, an ink pen. Is it the haunted uh, background? Some uh, there's, there's ten leather, a little bag of sand, one manacles. He has a steel mirror. Um, he has one flask of oil. Ten sheets of parchment, a sickle, a small knife, uh, nine wooden stakes. It's the haunted uh, background. A from... tinderbox and three torches. And 250 gold. Well, I mean... I'll definitely take the gold. Are we just going to add that to your gold? I mean. I don't know. How, do we, how are we doing this? I can distribute evenly, or you guys can. Yeah, you read. can distribute it evenly. That's fine. All right. And then I'll search. Uh, I don't want anything else on him. I'll, I'll search Crumpkin, too. You're not going to try CPR on him again? I'll take his holy water. No, I already did. I declared him dead. We filled out the paperwork. That's where we left off. Yeah, I'm taking that holy water from him. All right. I was going to take a holy water. I guess I'll take the oil and sand. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but... I mean, are we just gonna put him in the bag of holding? Stink it up. I um, I think I'm gonna I think we're gonna gonna have to do a uh, goblin burial right here. Just leave his ass here for the rats. <laughs> goblin burial, just do nothing. <laughs> no, I was just gonna set him on fire. Oh. <laughs> we'll just throw him in the brazier, you know? It's yeah, already let's toss him in there. I feel like you're gonna start munching on me after I've been in the brazier for a few minutes. No, oh, no, no, I don't eat dragon anymore. It gives me indigestion. I'm trying uh, to be healthier now. You know, in my old age, I can't eat like I used to. I look around the bodies, or the leftovers of what the ogres were eating, and see if I find anything. Uh, Alright. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll take, a, I'll take one of the skulls, I guess. One of his many skulls. All right, you can add that yourself. Um, so is your bag just like porn in a skull? No, just a bunch of porn in a skull. A giant just... stack of porn and there's one skull. A, there, are, there are many things in in this bag. Gruffy's gonna get pulled over by a cop one day. They're one or two of them. Bag. Yeah, I mean, you know, it paints a strange picture, but you know, Windex, that's not. There's a thing of Windex and stuff, I'm sure. Yeah. That's quite frankly, it's none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> a half full jar of mayonnaise. Yeah, you don't even—you don't know what I do with that. I mean, did you just go caring on him? Right. So, like, the only thing you really find the ogres, uh, the the I should say three dickless, you know, oh, ogres see. now, and. uh is like pretty much all the guys like they have like their leather armbands with the with the das insignia on it um yes, we can't see there isn't anything else really on other than like a loincloth and they're kind of great clubs that have kind of like been that have fallen by their side and they all they all have a javelin on their back too that they didn't 
people out and use, but they just use their mighty great clubs on you guys. So, three great clubs, three loincloths, three armbands, and three javelins. This is pretty much all you find on the ogre themselves. But beyond the chamber, you do have two pile of bodies and some cages that you can kind of see. And you said there was here. crying too, right? We haven't investigated the crying. No, there's crying. It's like basically this is the entrance here, but further beyond, as you guys can kind of see. So here, I have a couple of flavor pictures that kind of give you guys an idea of kind of what's like down here. Think of it more dim than what I'm going to show you, but King it's very dark. It dark. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a dwarf. Yeah. He's a dwarf. He's a hill. Am I the only one without dark vision? That sucks. You're a robot, too. I don't know if what I have... What shitty robot doesn't have... Well, I mean, I have goggles. Like, he, has, he, has, he, he, has, he has his goggles and night vision, so... Okay. Or dark vision, so he can see in the dark. So, yeah. So, like, those are just flavor. Kind of, like, what it's like down here. Like, a little bit of, like, ruined cityscape, because the city was rebuilt after, you know, 500 years ago after the War of the Mark, so... Yeah, you, know, you have those dark. to look at to give you kind of oh. idea. But further on in the gloom, like That's it, right? like right immediately, as you guys can actually kind of look on the map that I made for you here that you're still on, you look like directly north of Brazil. There's bodies there in cages, but there's also a couple of cages further on a bit if you want to investigate those. But then there's also further north, there is about like a 10 by 15 pit that's about 10 feet down that you haven't investigated yet. And then on the other side of that pit, about 100, 150 feet away, is like what seems to be like a little, you know, 15 by 15 wooden shack that you kind of hear like sobs coming from, so. Well, I'm going to investigate the, uh, the bodies and cages. See if anybody <laughs> is alive or dead or if I can feel anybody. Okay, well, the, the immediate body piles, so you're going to search the immediate body the immediate body piles? Uh, I'm assuming the ones they were eating, no one was alive, but yeah, I can search those. Yeah, so the, the immediate cages that are right up here close that you can see, you guys are going to search those, so <clears throat> anyone... <clears throat> I'm sorry, anyone that wants to search those bodies, I would like an investigation roll, please. I don't want to search them. You can't make any searches. Mm, sorry, he's down to poke around. That's a cool picture, though. While they do that, uh, I'm gonna talk to the robot about getting me some vision of the night. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna. I make him a flashlight and I hand it to him, but like, I'm trembling when I hand it to him. <laughs> He's a little worried you're gonna murder me. <laughs> Thanks, too. good sir. I'm gonna, uh, while this is going on, I'm not helping on the investigation, I'm dragging all the bodies and throwing them onto the braziers. So I'll start with Frumpkin, and then I'll do Blumpkin, <laughs> then I'll do Crumpkin, and then I'll do Vordrin. How high is his strength? All right, so thank you for not crushing my corpse. Moving the All right, the, 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 st the caverners begin to smoke and billow a bit. You guys, from those investigation rolls, you guys don't find anything immediately. Uh, but... I mean, I um, guess I could check it. No one else wants to investigate it all either. I guess I oh, right. I'm gonna go inquire. Hey guys, what you doing over here with all these dead bodies? No, I could use a little help here. Trying to find out why they died. Oh, uh, all right. I guess I'll take a look. Maybe I can see something that you can't. You Don't can think so. Like, you can discern from like the the bludgeoning and the bite marks that these people were taken out of the cages and were eaten alive. Bones have been snapped. Marrow's been sucked out. Uh, but with easy opens roll, easy open as he's going through the bodies does find. Where's my parcel? Cause of death, ogre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does find about uh, 41 gold pieces, 62 silver pieces, 83 copper pieces, like just strewn about on the ground and stuff. Uh, that the ogres haven't had a chance to put up pick up yet. He does also find four magic scrolls that the ogres didn't think that you know, they don't realize the value because they can't fucking read, so they were just like, whatever, their their fucking paper is useless. But, uh, um, the magic there? scrolls are as follows. You have a, a scroll of arms of Hadar. You have a scroll of magic mouth. You have a scroll of major image. And you have a scroll of rope trick. Oh. 
Ooh. Oh. Oh. Arms, uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Well, I can use the major image one. Is there any requirement to using scrolls? Other if you than don't, literacy? if the spell's not on your spell list, you have to roll to see and successful cast it. Yeah. What, what, do you then, roll, what stat do you use for that, or is it, what's the value? Whatever, you whatever your spell casting modifier, but it's like okay. a check. I think it's 10 yeah. plus, the, it's, plus it's, the level yeah. of the spell. Do I get yeah, it? so it's just like, if it's like okay. a level 2 scroll, it'd be like, you roll a, you oh, roll okay. a 10, yeah, and DC then 12. you add 2, so it'd be a DC 12, and if you fail, nothing happens and the scroll disintegrates. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll take the arms of the power. Can I cast Rope Trick? Yes, huh. I'll take Rope Trick, because I'm going to take all the weird utility stuff. Nice. Yeah, if nobody wants it, I'll take the image. Yeah, so you get the image. So, Pestis for Arms of Hadar. Easy Open wants the Rope Trick. Gruffy wants the image. Anyone want Magic Mouth? What does that do? You make a object speak when someone walks up to it. I mean, you can set the trigger, and then it does the message, and it's permanent. You implant a message. Permanent. You implant. You implant a message within an object in range. A message that is uttered when a trigger condition is met. Choose an object that you can see and that isn't being worn or carried by another creature. Then speak the message, which must be 25 words or less, though it can be delivered over as long as 10 minutes. Uh, finally. <laughs> Determine the circumstance that will trigger the spell to deliver your message. When the circumstance occurs, the magical mouth appears on the object and recites your, the message in your voice at that same volume you spoke. If the object you chose has a mouth or something that looks like a mouth, for example, the mouth of a statue, the magic mouth appears there so that the words appear to come from the object's mouth. When you cast the spell, you have you have the spell end after it delivers its message. It can remain and repeat its message whenever the tar whenever the trigger occurs. Yeah, the triggering cool. circumstance can be as general or as detailed as you like, though it must be based on visual or audible conditions that occur within 30 feet of the object. For example, you can instruct the mouth to speak when any creature moves within 30 feet of the object or whenever a silver bell rings within 30 feet of it. That's the spell. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? Okay. So Brandon saying Randy. Alright. Loot has been... And then also, easy open, you notice a little bit further back in the gloom, this is no longer on the map. Now we're going back in the theater of the mind here. A little bit further back in the gloom, there's a couple more cages, and you can see a form sitting in a locked cage towards, uh, you know, a little bit, like about 50 feet back. You know, you can see it because you have dark vision, and it looks like a black dragon can sitting there brooding and watching your party. Uh, I yell, one of them is alive back here, and I approach the cage. Do, 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 do. I mean... Yeah, I mean, Gruffy will... Oh, oh. Interesting. Assuming it come into to visual range, I can see that it's a dragonkin. Not like a dragonborn, like a... Little, well, little dragon. Oh, I mean, I mean, a, 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 it's a dragonborn. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, my bad. My bad. Who's missing? Harley's missing. A, a dragonborn is in the cage. I run over to the cage and check, or I try and open the cage. It's locked at the moment. Um, I can open it. Um, why don't we talk to this fellow before we open it? I have to make sure he's healthy. Maybe he's like the biggest piece of shit on the planet, or maybe he's psychotic. Yeah, careful, don't let Brandon too close to him, he might decide to kill him again for no reason. Did I actually well, black You're all psychotic though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you picked the same, you're in the same clutch or whatever. So, I mean, anytime you want to speak up or whatever while they're around you, go for it. This is your time, this is your... Opportune moment, as Jackster would say. I am going. I, I would no. argue I'm not psychotic if I'm locked up in a cage surrounded by a 
I was supposed to be dinner. Well, communicate that with the party through RP. Go. What, uh, what are you doing here, Mr. Dragon Man? Uh, you know, just chilling out down here. Thought, thought the place was pretty interesting, Mr. Janitor looking. Oh, well, if you're just hanging out, we'll leave you to it. See you later. <laughs> have fun. I, really I, have, have, to, I have to see if he's okay. I'm going to I'm going to turn back to people and like try to try to tell them like you know he's clearly not in the right mindset like you know who would find this fun in this area like I think we should leave him there I think he's damaged mentally I think you're projecting a lot there buddy That's why that's why I I have to, I have to check I have to make sure he's he's healthy open the cage Where's the cage compared to like where we are Damn it Oh is it where you guys are on the map we're off the map. We're in Theater of the Mind. You're in Theater of the Mind right now. It's further back from anything that's okay. on the map. And I'm still, I'm still throwing stuff on the braziers. I'm assuming I'm not you're, there. You're just hanging out, just barbecuing right at the moment. So, like, uh, yeah. So, doing goblin over, burial. Over, right over. I, mean, I just picture it being hilarious. A goblin moving ogres across a room. Oh, yeah. Like, the leg falls off, and then I just, like, pull the leg over. Like, I'm, like, hacking it into smaller pieces to, like, make it fit, because yeah. I can't drag it. It's, 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 like, a bloody mess. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 not, it's not a clean process to whatsoever. But, uh, I mean, you, 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 you've seen these goblin rights through and through, bro. So, the Texas size 10-4 is what you're doing right there, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I don't understand. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, you're, you're doing your thing, and they're and they're all gathered around this cage and talking to this black dragonborn who's sitting there, cool. trying to make his case to get out of the cage. I don't know. It's uh, it's up to him. So, uh, RP it out. That's that's the scene right now. Uh, Easy's gonna keep fiddling with the lock because yeah, he was trained to open shit. So far, I'm liking the robot the most because he wants to actually seem to help me. No, what I'm are you talking about? I'm trying to get in the cage to see if you're okay. Add your proficiency bonus to any check. And, and the kobold. The kobold's cool too. To any ability. Well, I mean, at the same time, don't convey thoughts. Talk to them, like RP. Not like uh, talk. Talk to them. Communicate your feelings. So. Uh, are Are you sure that goblin fellow's all right over there? I I don't think he should be burning all those corpses. No, no, he's an expert. He's a medical doctor. Goblins can be doctors. You should see what he can do with this guy. As, as far as as far as Gruffy knows, they can. What is my? Uh, is it two? I, I I'm a little worried about your group. If that's your doctor. I think it's. I, I'm the other. I'm his I assistant. Plus two. I punch things. Skill. <laughs> and I'm just gonna. Ha. All right, you're you're a click in the lock, and it and it, uh, it 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 falls open. Guys, I opened it. And uh, I go out. Black to, I go checking them out. This, this black dragonborn stands up, and uh, he's about. I don't know. Describe describe how you look. Describe how you look when you stand up there, Akira. I stand up and stretch, cracking my neck. I look remarkably like their fallen companion with more or less the same facial structure and colored I mean, eyes. Them, well, I mean, and to them, not to sound racist, but all dragonborn to them pretty much look the same other than color, so... <laughs> Fair point. That's racist. I don't know, it ain't racist, Gruffy. Just like you say, all... If you look at a, a species of snake, all them snakes look the same. All them dragonborns look the same. All, all the robots look the same. You're yeah, but we racist. can't... You're just all racist. We can't say that... Uh, we do know that. What are you wearing, Akira? I'm wearing some chain mail and common clothing. And... They can see I have a few weapons on me. Well, you don't have the weapons on you. The weapons are set outside the cage. They're not going to leave you armed right. in the cage. So Part of me the, wants the, to the weapons him. are discarded behind the cage. But, you know, they left the chainmail on because they're like, fuck it, whatever, we'll throw them in there. So, 
Anything more than that you would like to add? Not that I can think of at the moment. What did you say your name was? Akira. <laughs> and your name, Mr. Janitor I'm, Man? I'm Gruffy. I'm the janitor. So, I, I, I'm curious, why did they send a party with a doctor and a janitor down here? You, sir, sir, stop talking. I need you to spread your legs. I have to check you medically. <laughs> I do is like, go <laughs> <laughs> Looking oh. really concerned at what oh. I, scenario I found myself in. Oh. department for this? Because we're about to, yeah. <laughs> Um, he's wow. not an employee, so it's, it's whatever. Yeah, it's I a contract. All tapped. Yeah, Gr Gruffy's actually the, both the janitor and the head of HR, so uh, any complaints, um, you'll need to file them in Gruffy's sack here. Um, yeah, so speaking of sacks, like, Pesta, bag, right? but as Pesta, as Pesta says that, he reaches forward and does a very, very, very rough hernia test on... Like that 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 looks really painful. Like didn't like take any conditioning of the claws around or like, you know, the pressure of the squeeze, like oof, like he's vice gripped your nutsack right now. Um uh Hakira, how do you feel about that? I stomp my foot down and look down at him. I mean it, it, my it, teeth. It, it hurts. Unless you're unless you're a female dragon board, then he's right up there in your cloaca, you know, like uh can you guys give me the other dragon board dick we just had? I'm trying to compare. I want to make sure they feel the same. Wait, there was another dragonborn with your group. Who, who was he exactly? Oh, um, he's on the fire. Uh, Vordemar? Vord? Vordis? I, 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 Traitor's piece of shit is what he was. I'm a new employee. You're gonna have to ask somebody else. I'm a contractor, not technically an employee. Sir, can you cough and I'll let go? I cough for him, hoping that he'll let go sooner rather than later. As it's oh. still really uncomfortable. I, I let go. Those are definitely balls. I don't know. I've always, I've always thought the Dragonborn's nuts were kind of like up inside its body. Oh, I got. As an assistant to such you, a great doctor, you, I get really up in there. You have to. I've seen him what he does with the scalpel, so you have to understand what I do with my hands. He was he was three knuckles deep up in there. Don't worry about it. It was three knuckles at least. So yeah, he sexed that alligator right there and then and there. And with that roll, like it wasn't pleasant for anyone involved except for maybe Pesta. I uh, I smell my fingers. What the fuck? I, <laughs> I just look at the kobold and move away slowly. Does the lock come off? Can I take it with me? Is it like a padlock or like attached? Apparently it's, a, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's a padlock with a key. You can have that lock if you want it. It's unlocked right now. You still don't have a key for it, so if you lock it again, you're going to have to pick it. So. Yeah, I'll take it with me. Right. So... Yeah. I mean, you guys are there. Uh, still, saw, you know, there's, there's, you notice some, some rustling noises from the pit. You said to your guys' crying left. Still, right? Yeah, and there's crying still from that, from that shit over there. Yeah. But uh, so I'm assuming, unless anyone has anything to say about it, Akira is has do 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 joined the party. Um, yeah. Right. Well, we can't leave him here in case he. he breaks the elevator. He should just come with us, right? In case he witnessed anything. I mean, in case uh, he has any useful information. Yeah, he could help us look for the Dask. That's maybe... Maybe he's their enemy. They, the Ogres had the Dask symbol on them. And they're giving all the dra blood dragon stuff to people. And I... I want to kill those people that are... Yeah, you're not a... You're not a... You're not a tweaker, are you, buddy? You're not hooked on that blood dragon shit, are you? No, I've been down here for a few weeks. I should have never taken that job. I, I grab his shoulders and look violently into his eyes. You tell me. You're not. Are you on? You, you got to shake that stuff. You got to get out of your system. I lick my fingers. Uh, I say no. He's definitely not on it. <laughs> All right. 
cabal um, blood test. Yeah. I forgot to add that, like, a lot of those bodies, too, besides, like, of past adventures and shit that you guys are rifling through, there does seem to be quite a lot of, like, homeless and, like, what seems to be blood dragon attic corpses in there. You can tell, like, by the pale skin, the pronounced, uh, when you can find an eyeball, the you know, that's still inside the skull, sunken back, the bags under the eyes, definite, um... Looks like somebody's yeah. doing my job for me. Yeah, they're, they're harvesting what seems to be the homeless and uh, adventures that they find around the lower cogs uh, to feed those three ogres. They're, you know, Grumpkin, Blumpkin, and Frumpkin no longer need to eat, so there you go. Uh, add a lock? Yeah, I'm totally fine with the dragon board. Come on. I'll scroll. Uh, you'll just fill out this got a quick form. It's a head of HR and he... a couple release forms, disclosure, etc. You'll just fill this out and get it back to me here. Welcome aboard. I, I look at the forms and notice the Planar Express logo, and I ask them, you guys are with Planar Express, aren't you? That's correct. Uh, it might take uh, six to eight weeks for you to receive your first paycheck, but don't worry. It's coming. Oh, that cheapskate already owes me a paycheck. I'm one of his lost expeditions. Oh, uh, that's, uh, mm, Gruffy definitely has a detailed filing system. Never lost track of an employee before, so that that seems impossible. But uh, in the in the rare event that there is some sort of paperwork error, uh, yeah, we'll we'll check that out. And we'll get back to the office. I would like uh, to slowly head towards the um, the crying, trying to be stealthy. Uh, well, you know what you need to do to do that. Hi. <laughs> Your version of stealthy is this is us being stealthy. This is us being stealthy. I'm not good at stealth. Yeah, you're not stealthy, but you're moving towards that area and you're kind of walking along the edge of the pit. I uh, you're, I move where you do hear them. like so, some some shuffling sounds at the bottom of this pit. I go with, them. and uh, I try and see if I see. Try to in the pit? Anything. Just across, anywhere. Okay, in the pit, you notice that there is about... Besides the sobbing coming from the the shack, you do notice that down the pit there are about ten warforged that are chained to the wall in this dugout structure of a pit. And they'll oh, kind of look up dude. at you with, like, complacent eyes. Seem even more sad than normal, because robots, you know, don't aren't that expressive to begin with. Unless you unless you're a medalist, then they get very expressive, as you guys know. These these robots look almost as shitty as that uh, fucking what, what's his face? The guy that sat on the cock outside that building. Is Ingot? Yeah. Yeah. Can I make it down there without like dying horribly? Like how far down? Yeah, there's there. It's about it's about like a ten foot grade, but you can get down there without doing rolls. Uh, I'll see if there's a way to break their chains or, like, unlock them. Like, how are they attached? There's a long chain that seems to be, like, they're all manacled up, but at the same time, on top, all these manacles are strung together along a ring. So you have a series of rings that are running above each one of them, and a chain comes down uh, that's, that's hooked into each one of their manacles. If you're able to unlock the chain at the end, you could rip the chain off the manacles all the way down. They would still be manacled, but they'd be able to get away. Uh, uh, let me see what if I got on me. Uh, where is my character? How high up is that main chain? Main, main chain's just about head hard. height. He could reach it. It's, it's not hard to reach. They're all restrained, though, so they can't leave. So by twice my height, that's fucked up. Head height, huh? Okay. Yep, head height. Okay. Fucking shorties not apply. Can I follow that chain to to see what it's locked to, or... Right? That goes yeah, it's, easy, it's, 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 it's easily visible. Like, you can see the way that everything I just said it works to, you know... You know, you're just looking at it, you can see that. There's no investigation involved. Right, so I, I would try, that. like, unhooking the main chain so we could pull it through the ring. 
All right, so you can go down there. Does anyone want to talk to him, or are you just going to kind of go down there and just do this? I'm... We don't I'm talk. Gonna... We just do. I'm getting... I'm, I'm just... back a little I mean, bit. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just... I'm just... I'm just <laughs> saying... saying my people, I mean... They're racist. I'm not even going to ask them because it's going to be like... Oh, I have a bad God, reputation don't have for... Feelings. I don't want to... Easy I don't does what he wants. I don't want to instigate. I have a bad relationship with them. I look at them, <laughs> and I just fall back a little bit. Because you're because me you're medalist, that's why. But okay, so yeah, give me a give me a roll on your uh, fucking lock picking skills. Yeah, you you definitely. Uh, yeah, <laughs> your your stealth in the your stealth in the shadows. Yeah, I hide from the plus, then I think this is how to do. Slide of hand, you want? Yeah, slide of hand is lock picking and all that shit. Pickpocketing, lock picking. You know, so. Ba -ba -da. Yeah, the lock isn't that strong, and like you have to force it, and like you actually kind of break the lock when you do it. Like the Aww. lock won't be able to be plastic again because you were so rough with it, didn't do it. But the lock wasn't well made enough to really keep it because they don't really give a shit about these guys too much, so they're just kind of keeping them here. So the lock is broken, and you rip the chain through the wall, and they're all kind of standing manacled in front of you, and they'll look around. And it's like, thank you. We didn't think anyone's gonna come along, and here, hold on. Where is where is the voice mod? Ah, oh, we're getting a uh, robot voice. Bum, bum, bum. What do I want to use? Ah, uh, magic mouth. Magic mouth. It's another scroll we got. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's why. Scrolls. Thank you. We didn't think anyone was ever gonna save us from down here. We thought we were doomed, just like Razor was. Oh. Oh, that ain't good. I didn't get it all. You know what happened to Razor? We're looking on uh, what happened to. I can't talk. That's what I. I can't. I don't want to be the face. How was that? Well, last part. Uh, do you? We're looking to see what happened to uh, Razor. Do you know where she is? They executed Razor right in front of us to make a point of like trying to escape. Razor tried to escape, and they literally. Ripped her apart in front of us, though, we're and they chained us back to the wall. Well, that answers that question. I ain't nasty people down here. What did, excuse me, robots, what are you, what are they doing with all y'all down here? Robots? Why, why keep you all chained up in this pit? They don't want us to get away because they want to use this labor. And, uh, we're down on our luck already, so I guess they will miss us. And that's their logic. Why aren't you out there laboring? Because we're chained to the wall. <laughs> and also, too, we don't want to be in we're going to pay Zyvek. Have you seen you seen this place down here? Do you want to work with fucking others? They stink. And then anything we found... Yeah, you know, that's value. fair. That's a fair point. <laughs> and any, uh, anything we found of value, they took away immediately. We can get a cut of our profits. They're talking about unionizing, you know, and then, you know, that's when things got real. You understand know real? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Real. Real. Got, like, got them union yeah. busters. They bring them in. Yeah. No. They brought, in, they brought in three of those union busters right there, and they, they you know, they they rip they rip or razor apart right there. We're just talking about working right and uh, accommodations and all that. You know, and this is after, like, they weren't letting us come back up. They said this work was too important. They said how important is our workers' rights right here. What, what then, is the work? What are you doing? What are y'all doing down here that's so important? Probably making the drug. Well, apparently, we were down here. We've been excavating uh, no. a, a, lib a library that that was, you know, they, they thought was down here. And we did find some library stuff. We've, uh, we found some magic art, magical artifacts. I don't know what they were. I don't have an eye for that. We found we found some magical artifacts, some scrolls, and some schemas, and that's what they came down here for. And then, apparently, the heat got on after they, you know, they killed Razor. You know, you can't keep a lid on that type of thing, sir. So they went and they they went and they took and they just went and ripped Razor apart. But then someone up top wasn't, you know, Razor wasn't as as indisposed as the rest of us. And that's when they locked us all down. They said, we can't go up to the surface no more. And they even stopped paying us, too. And we were just down here on this wall, and they would let us out, and they would let us dig, and let us scavenge, and excavate. But that was about it. But beyond that point, 
then it was like all of a sudden it was just like, oh yeah, no, we, we're keeping you down here. There's nothing you can do. If you wanna, if you wanna get out, you have to talk to, to those three assholes up there. And God bless you, sir. They, those three, those three assholes right there are no more. But um, I would say we would like to leave. And well, thanks to that, some boy down here too. I think he's up in that shack, and it's such a sad thing. Yeah, I, I walk over to the shack. Uh, yeah, you can. You know, there's a there's a door. Up. There's a door on the side. You can see it's it appears to be unlocked, but uh. But yeah, no, they have a, they have a child down here in these working conditions. At first, I thought it was some kind of like canary or whatever. Like, oh, the child dies, it must be safe to be down here. But honestly, these people don't give a shit about nothing. I don't even think these people are involved with the Orient. I think something might else be going on. But I'm in the dark. I'm just down here scraping up and picking up magical artifacts and schemas and everything they told me to. And then when we asked for more pay and equal rights, they were like, fuck no. And then they started ripping us apart. And that's where we stand. But I am much grateful to be in a better position now than I am. And I'm sure that you understand too. You know, janitorial stuff, you probably have your own union, do you not, sir? I don't know. Gruff is the, uh, Gruff is the, the uh, chapter leader. Local, yeah. Jenner's local, uh, 519th. Oh, then I would love to, like, you gotta, you gotta protect, there. you gotta protect the rights of the working man. That's just, that's just basic. And uh, working man, I also exactly. mean the working robot. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so you, you understand totally what I'm saying. So, so thank you, sir. But uh, I, I do believe I need to get back up up, uh, up to top side because I, I do not wish to be part of this operation anymore. And these, no. I these people the are just elevator. Done, so so I'll, I'll show them how I did it with like pulling out the, the bottom part so they can leave. All right. so, so you explain this to them in real time and they're like, eh. You explain this in, to them in real time, and as like you're about halfway through your through your conversation, like, oh yeah, that boy, they show us how to do that all the time. We'll make sure to send it back on down there for you, because no one needs to be stuck down here. Because being stuck down here would just be horrible. That's all I have to say. So, uh, watch out for yeah. the lesbians up there. The two. I do. I do appreciate. It. And then the <laughs> the That's what the robots there. go there and two start to make their fucking girls leave. making out. Let's see what else has anything they want to do. Gruffy just um, quiet, quietly whispers, "Run free, robots! Run free! Back to home! <laughs> back to the wild!" Where you? It's such a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight. A little tear. <laughs> we just both stand there and watch them take very small steps because they still have the manacles on. Yeah. I love how the fact this is like, all right, you're unchained, but here, wear your fucking shackles out there, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are dicks. Yeah. So I, um, I check the I check the shed door. You right. know why? The 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 shed door is is definitely unlocked. Mm -hmm. You know, there's 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 no chain obstruction. It just swings wide open. And as you look into this like little like, you know, fifteen foot room, you know, like fifteen feet by fifteen feet, in one of the corners, like uh, let me see here. I have my stuff written down. I don't get. Uh, yeah, the wooden shed. It contains a small child covered in dust, wearing once fine, now ruined livery of the House of Ryan. Uh, the boy sobs, and he's shrunken into one corner. His face is slack, stale bread, smelly water, a pile of rags, and a chamber pot ran out the accommodations. Okay. Um, doctor, I have another patient. I'm going to go in and check him out. I, I just walk in and check out the boy and see how he's... Oh, very very good there, my my assistant. Let me let me, let me give you a hand there. As the boomer comes running over through the through the pile of, you know, he goes running by the, all the robots. Doesn't really pay any attention to him because Bloomberg is kind of senile. But, uh... <laughs> He, d he doesn't acknowledge that they have souls, so they're exactly. not living they're, creatures for him. There you go. So, yeah, not racist at all. But, uh, okay, yeah. So, they're you guys are in there, you're expecting lie. the boy. He's pretty much catatonic at this point. Oh, I've seen this. He's he's going into uh, his his seasonal hibernation. Uh, but but don't worry. I think I can, I can, uh, I think I can resolve this. And, uh, I'm gonna... Just start kind of slapping him a little bit, like 
slapping him across the face a little bit. Not too hard, but just, you know. Hey! Just, hey, wake up! Snap out of it! He just seems to cry more and shrink more into himself as this is happening. Hmm. Let, let me try. Let me try. I slap him, but I actually use a key and healing. With the sounds of, of slapping attract me over there, and I'm, I'm going to join everybody. Right. So I'm actually so, going to heal him. Okay, so do your... That's it. Jesus, fuck. Okay, so do your attack roll. No, I think you can just heal with key. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh, it's free if he does during combat, he, if he combos. I can touch um, martial arts die plus your wisdom modifier. Okay, so so do what you need to do. Do the rolls that you need to do. I don't want to tell you to do it. I don't want to look it up. So do like, I don't want to read it. Do. Yeah, do do your thing. Do your thing that you need to do to make it happen, Buff. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So the kid kind of comes to is like you slap him the last time with that hands of healing. And he kind of, you know, he, he comes out of his cat talk and he just kind of starts screaming because there's a goblin and a cobble over him assaulting him. Even if it helped or whatever, he doesn't realize that because it still hurts to get slapped in the face consistently. And he's shrieking, he's trying to get away from both of you. And he sees, you know, like Brandon St. Randy saying in the door, it's all very, very, very dark in this room. I mean, all of you guys have dark vision, I think. Yeah, Pesta has dark vision. Bloomberg has dark vision. Brandon St. Randy, flashlight. yeah, Br Brand, yeah, Brandon St. Randy has a flashlight. So the only thing you can kind of see is the flashlight and these dark shapes lingering over him, and they're hitting him in the face. That's a pretty normal response to those two. The, ki the kids, the kids, about six years old too. So like, it's not like, oh, he has any maturity. Like this is terrifying. Hey, so. hey, kid, take it easy, take it easy. Hey, hey, take it easy. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Here, here. Somebody get him a cock meat sandwich. We, we, we snapped you out of your hibernation. It's okay. We, we, you're going to be fine. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's just blubbering at this point. Like, still. Like, okay. I'm, I, I noticed that things are not going uh, very well, so I'm going to use my, my fucking mind meld ability and, and send a message into his head and ask him if he is Alden's son. Can he someone deal with this with this kid? I, I we're not. We're, oh, and we're, I'll allow it to go both ways. I forgot to mention that, I'm, so I'm, he can respond. I'm shaking this kid so. Hard. All you hear in your mind is like screams, Chris. All you hear in your mind is screams. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna immediately cut that shit off, and uh, I'm just gonna go touch. Uh, what's your name? Pesta, like on the shoulder, and just like give him the look, like. Like calm down, and and then Knock your I'm gonna off. say, hey everybody, like this kid is scared to death. Just look at him. You're scaring the shit out of him. We need to you, just chill out. You you know, Randy, we uh we did our job. We got him uh, we got him we got him conscious. We stabilized him. As medical doctors, I'd say our work here is done. You guys take over. I think Pesta okay, and I... that sounds great. Your work is done now. If you'd step aside, we'll we'll handle it from here, good doctor and doctor's assistant. I get a like, high five and I congratulate him as we walk away. Another patient safe. Good, good work. So, like, you know the scene in Scott Pilgrim where they shoot the guys with the debeaconizing ray and jump yeah. out the door and go, "Yeah, that's what yeah, that's I like imagine a... we do." <laughs> <laughs> we want. We just, I just go right back out the door towards the fires. Okay. I'm not fit to cook up some meat. So it's pretty much just. Brandon St. Randy in there with a small young boy in his flashlight. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this at all. Yes, go cook that uh, that ogre ogre cock, and I'm going to have a conversation with this boy. I'm going to slowly close the door as they leave. No, no, hold on, hold on. That, 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 ain't right. that, come, that, that ain't right. Now comes the, the whole thing of how dark can this session get. All right, here we go. So, Gruffy just all right, so what, what, is, what is the kid doing now? That, that the two menaces have left and the door is he, closed. He's still fucking sitting there shaking because the flashlight's going on. It's like this kid's been nothing but abused for the past like probably two to three weeks. And he's six years old. And so he's okay. like, he's he's blubbering there. It's like he was pretty much cat talk in shock before, but healing magic brought him out of it. And now he's just fucking straight terrified again. No Sounds one's really like... tried to calm him down doing anything other than slapping the shit out of him. 
And then you have a big, you know, scary man. The only point of light you see is in the fucking thing, because you have a flashlight. So it's not really like you're shining on your face or anything. It's just kind of around the room. And, you know, the goblin and the cobbled have left. And now there's a, like, dark silhouette in the door. And you're kind of there in your armor and stuff, like, staying down. So it's like, if you want to try and calm him down, great. I don't know what you're going to try and do molest him. Let's see what happens. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm going to come up to him and, like, kneel and then just, like, grab him gently by both of his shoulders and just like look at him and just say you know it's okay just calm down calm down and if he doesn't seem to be like registering it i'm gonna like send it do you want to do you want to shine the light well. on your face do you want to shine the light sure on your face? yeah why not all right like all it's right. okay i'm here to help you you're safe now this is a right. mullet you can trust as, as... <laughs> <laughs> As 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 you shine the light on your face or whatever, and you like calm down, he kind of like peeks up out of his, out of his little like crumpled thing, and you can see like he's he's shackled, you know, obviously like he's got you know, he's got you know foots foots and wrists on, you know, tops and bottoms, he's you know so you can't get away or get very far. And he kind of looks over, so it's like are the monsters are the monsters gone, sir? Are the monsters gone? The monsters are gone. We we have dealt with them. I mean, thank you. Have... It's been so scary down here. Can I go home? Can I see my daddy again? My mommy? Uh, yes. Uh, w w where is your home? We we can take you there. I, I, my 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 daddy is. I, I'm 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 an Orion. You can see like the faded symbol of Orion on his like ragged. You know, oh, found the kid. shirt. You know, you seem, you know, you, okay. you, it's definitely degraded, but you can see uh, this is Caden. Maybe you should ask his, I don't know. Uh, my name's, my name's Caden. Um, I was asleep, but then they took me down here. It's been so dark and scary for so long. Okay. Um, it, your, your father, is his name Alden? His name is Daddy. <laughs> Shit, I knew my dad's name at six. Uh. Yeah, his name's Alden. Okay, perfect. He's been looking for you, and in fact, we're here for you. So uh, we're we're gonna take you home. You're gonna see your father again. It's everything's gonna be okay. As he gets up, uh, he starts to go and uh, and walk away, but then you notice that. Not only is he shackled, he's chained to the wall. Well, oh, put me in, coach. All right, hold on, little guy. We gotta take these chains off, and and I don't think I can do it. But one of my comrades, he he can definitely do it. But he's kind of scary looking, so I need you to promise me that you won't freak out when he comes in here, okay? I was on the same pants. You gotta bring in. Oh, okay. Just, All I right. get to go I got home. This. You do. You this. just have to just hold on for a moment while we we get these chains off of you. And just hold on one moment, and I'm gonna I'm gonna like open the door and try to call Easy in here because this is clearly his thing. All right. As I, I go stick by, my hand in. No. I'm gonna give like Brandon like a foot, like birth whenever I walk by him still, just because he's scared. So yeah. All right. And then I guess I will try. It unlocking these and not set myself on fire okay as i also need a constitution save okie dokie uh con save ha who ha 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 Ooh. <laughs> ha he's a All mimic, right. isn't he no but uh, as you unlock, funny. as you unlock those, as you unlock those chains, though, yeah, the oil gets on to like your hand. Like there's an oil <laughs> oh, that's yeah. coating that lock. There's an oil that's coating that lock, and it gets onto your hands, and it seeps into your skin, and all of a sudden you become very, very tired, and you're now poisoned, and you're unconscious. Oh my god, Easy, what happened? I'm gonna have to lean out the door. Doctor! Doctor! Can I even fall asleep? 
Yeah, well, like, you can be poisoned, right? Like, I don't know, you're un That's my big thing, is like, can the Warforged be uncon? I'm resistant to poison damage, immune to disease. I have advantage on poison saving throws, but yeah, I don't know if I can sleep. Alright, so give me so give me one more constitution save. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't do it. So At least I have uh, locked him before I felt like powered down and just crashed. Boom. Yeah. You, I mean, yeah, they're not like lot... full robots, right? Like it, you're a no, blend yeah, of that, that, organic that's material. What, that's what I'm saying. Like they're organic material or whatever. Like I mean, that's the you thing. Have, it's like you have sentience. It, it's you're yeah, you're halfway sleep. between. That's their big thing. They just they is he immune to sleep? Is he immune to sleep? Probably not. I think magic sleep would hit me because, like, the Calistar says they're immune to sleep or dream effect. No, we're not immune to sleep. Dream effects. Yeah, dream effects. Like you can't cast dream. It on just them, says but... you don't need to sleep. Oh, and magic can't put you to sleep. So I'm just drowsy, I guess. Yeah. Jesus, you can't be put yeah. to sleep, and you resist poison and immune to disease. That's I mean, that's what's solid. For war. He's not immune to rust. Just get him wet. Dowsing rod on. Um, well, I mean, either way, you're poisoned, so you have disadvantage on everything for right now. So, okay. well, he's not totally down, but yeah, the lock. Does he recognize open. that that he's poisoned? Like he knows that it's from the the material on the he chain. Look, yeah. He he looks down yeah, at like his hand. He's like, oh, oh, I but, shouldn't have done that. So like, here's. You're slower than usual, and you have disadvantage on skill check. on your shit. Yeah, on your skill checks until you deal with that. So, got it. Well, that's the kid is free though, and he's clinging to Brandon St. Randy's leg. I make him a flashlight, but more like more of like a little lantern for him to hold. He takes it from you, and he has like a little lantern in his hand, but he is still. Uh, I can do clasped tightly life. around Brandon St. Randy's leg. All right. Hey, little guy, you want to you wanna let go of my leg? And I'm going to try to, like, gently pick him up under the arms and bring him up and, like, sit him on my shoulder if he'll, if he'll let go. All right, it's, it's, a little, it's a little rough. Uh, make a persuasion roll. Okay. I need persuasion. Yeah, you, so he, he, you know, it's a little rough at first, but he goes along with it, and he's now riding on your shoulders. Okay. With a little lantern on top of your head. Sounds good. Um, well, I guess I'm going to quickly look around the, the shitty shack and see if I see anything worth a shit. We on the... should take him home. Uh, investigation roll if you're gonna do that. Okay. I can't talk fast. On one of the walls back in the corner, you well, guys you do you know, guys, but uh, Brandon St. Rain does notice that there's a small bag hanging on the wall. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna grab that and, and look then, through it. Yeah, and there seems to be like a few empty vials in it, some moldy bread and whatnot. And there seems to be two potions of healing in it as well. Just basic potions of healing, just for, for say, to keep the kid alive if something happened. Okay, I'm gonna take the potions of healing, put them in the bag of holding, and then carry this bag with me until I see the good doctor, and I'm gonna tell him I got a present for you, and I'm gonna get him with him the bag. What's in the bag? Two potions of healing. I took Ooh. those. Moldy bread, his favorite. I, I took, yeah, he oh, gets yeah, like yeah, the empty yeah, vials yeah, yeah. and the moldy bread, but yeah, I took yeah, the yeah. potions. You basically get like. I, I split the bread with, with my buddy. Yeah, okay. you got, and we grab some cotton. Yeah, don't say I never thought about you two. Uh, yeah. I enjoy. Just watches those two eat the moldy bread and cock meat sandwiches and shake my head. Yeah, it's not pretty. These need sauce. 
Yeah, they do, buddy. They need sauce. There's some oil in the shack. I know how you like that on your cock meat sandwiches. Oh yeah, you gotta lube them up. Yeah, there's a good bit in there on the floor. It'd probably be enough for two sandwiches. I go in there and I roll no. my sandwich on the floor. Do <laughs> it. Ah, uh, he's... He... Did... Did he just... Uh, does the... Does it look like oil or do I recognize that it's like poisonous? Oh, the, oh, the, the lock oil or whatever? I'm assuming that's uh, what he's referring to, right? Make an investigation roll on it. Wow, we're gonna have to carry you out. Where's yeah, my I don't thing? know if it's poison or not. I just know it looks like oil, so I sent you in that direction. Where's my uh where's my character sheet? How do I pull that shit up? Did click I not like your, take click on your icon. Click on yeah, your, but I don't click I don't see an icon. Did I not take it? Oh I didn't uh, take it, that's why. That's why. Yeah, yeah, I didn't take yeah. it. That's why. Okay, there you go. There we go. Okay. Uh investigation. Oh, this is not gonna go well, guys. I'm just just letting you know. Or it might go amazing. Nope. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. that's good. Yeah, you think that looks that would look very flavorful? Oh my god, that's not that looks even better than than what we had before. This they, this must be this must be amazing, Pepsi. You gotta try this. Oh, I hear talking when I come in. I roll oh, okay. roll my sandwich on the floor and I I take. Did you take a big old bite of it before Pepsi? Yeah, oh, yeah. Or... I'm trying oh, yeah. to stop yeah. him, but I'm talking so right. slow. That... Give me give me a, give me a constitution. <laughs> Oh yeah, you, you you eat right through. You no munch problem. right through that poison. There's some, <laughs> there's, there's some tang to it, but uh, yeah, yeah there no is. Problem. I also I also check what it is before I I do. Okay, roll your investigation. I you can that. tell that that's fucking sleep poison right there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just eating it happily. Yeah, much of the way it's in your beard, like it's fucking saliva it's like and fucking slobber everywhere. Oh, goose oh, attacks I him. I just look at I just look at it and I look at him. I'm I am flabbergasted because like he he had a he took he ate a lot of it. Yeah, like, it's, just, a, it's a nice a, uh, umami a flavor. Quantity. I'm like I finish off mine and I'm like oh no I don't I'm so I, I ran out I have no more. It just it sounds great though and I just back out and I look around my eyes are wide. I look at the party and I'm like holy shit. And I just, yeah, like, I mean, you know, walk away. Oh, shit, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, some people are squeamish about, you know, scraping sauce off a floor, but, uh, you know, we, my immune system is very, very good. Okay. Hey, doctor, you know, I just had an idea. We might run into more cock meat, so maybe you could take one of those vials and see if you can scrape some of this stuff, you know, so you can have it for your next sandwich. That's a good idea. I take uh, one of the vials and I can I can I actually get some into it. Uh, you're able to scrape a little bit. Like there's not quite a bit, but enough maybe to coat like a weapon or like make a small delivery device out of it. Like you know, like, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so so there's yeah. one like one use. Yeah, you have like a one use out of it, maybe. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Wow. I lick my fingers. <laughs> give me, give me another Constitution save. Yeah, but... <laughs> uh, As I'm watching this go down, I just shake my head and wonder how I got myself in this situation. Oh fuck! Yeah, you fall asleep now. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I hear him. I hear him slam on the ground, and I just look back, and I just oh, grab him by the leg. I grab by the leg, and I just start pulling. This isn't that out of character for for Bloomy. <laughs> He's like, this isn't that, you know, because yeah. he like he just must have fallen asleep. Like the the vial is still clutched in his hand because he's got the like don't drop my beer like reflex, you know. <laughs> too uh, many you know, cards, guys. Up. Oh, yeah, okay. Too... I, I I put I cap that. I cap that vial. Yeah. Okay, you cap that vial. Yeah, but uh. And I'm just yeah, dragging. I, yeah, no, he's he's there. So you're just dragging him along. So you are dragging Bloomberg. Kids on the shoulders. Uh, everyone seems to be fine, so you're outside of the shack now. Yeah, I mean, if he's gonna take a nap, we could take a we could take a short rest. Uh, I'm, I imagine Gruffy's not the only one a little bit tapped out after that fight. Yeah, I I agree, but I feel like we should get this child home sooner than later. He's a. Uh, I don't think he wants to stay a few more all hours right, down right, here. Real quick. <sighs> Oh, 
I sneak. Oh. Since I, I capped the vial that Mikey had, I take a little bit of it and I sneak up and I put a tiny bit on that kid so we can rest. <laughs> poison the kid? Yeah, yeah I'm just going to poison the kid. kid. Jesus Christ. Yes. Can I, like, sense if he's coming? Shh, go to sleep. Make make a make a make a. Sorry, this is gonna be contested roll. All right. Yeah. So well, stealth God. roll for Puff, perception roll for you. Okay. Sounds good. Yikes. Nope. Yeah, you don't notice shit, and he just walks up and fucking like uncorks it for a second and dabs a little bit on the kid's neck. All, all right. So I know how to, we know how to. I know how to put a kid to sleep. Watch this. So yeah, so now the teeth. So now the kid is like kind of flopping around on Brandon St. Randy's shoulders and uh yeah, and Dr. Mike and the kid are both asleep. But uh what would normally you have balance over like the little magical lantern that that uh Easy Open gave him falls to the ground and crashes and goes out and then the kid's just limp like almost like a fucking child helmet wrapped around Brandon St. Randy's head. I mean, fair. Alright, I'm gonna pick him off my shoulder and, and look at him and be like, well, I guess the kid's sleeping, so uh, yeah, okay, we might as well take a nap. Let's let's have a short rest. Let's roll hit dice if you want to. Uh, refill spell slots if it is a, appropriate for you. Yeah, I'm just meditating. Is this true? I'm at, I'm at full health? Yeah. This would have retained yeah. everything from last time. Okay, cool. Good for yeah. me. We kicked ass. Yeah, we did. Like, the, 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 the melee characters did fine. The casters, not so much. So. I mean... You're bleeding. Sorry. My hit points are, like, way too low on this shoot. <laughs> like, I know I'm wimpy caster, but I should have more than 18 hit. What was your... Because I have, I have like, plus four con and yeah. dwarven toughness, so, like, even at level one I, uh, with all my modifiers, like, if I rolled a zero on my level up hit dice, I would have 21. So, yeah, on no, average... Yeah, and so like I'm saying, like I don't remember you being that low of hit points either, though. Cause you yeah, took I don't know. Couple, I don't know why. No, you took a couple like super strong clubs to the face. Like you took two clubs to the face, and honestly, yeah, I don't know why this. Cause I don't. I thought it was higher. I don't I remember too, being the maximum you took, being that low. You took, you took. I remember specifically. You took two war clubs to the face. Yeah. You shielded. You shielded one, and you ate two, and you were almost dead. So That's, something's something's fucked up with fans. Yes. Do you? Oh, I, uh, I mean, on, so on D and D Beyond, it's twenty nine, but I don't remember what I, because that's just what the average for each time. I don't remember what I rolled for the level ups. So just we'll put you a, sure. Three, call it, call it twenty nine. Call it twenty nine. That's three twenty nine. Are you okay with it? I mean, I'll, yeah. I'll give you benefit of the doubt. I don't. Like, I don't. I do sure. not remember what it was, so I didn't. I didn't really, write it on the sheet. I'm just, so I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying, like the 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 war clubs do like fucking fifteen. Almost. Yeah. Like that. yeah so, I, know I got like double clomped by that and didn't. Yeah. Didn't bite and it. So. You're. You're. Yeah. I mean, I think you had like two or three hit points left. Like you were low, low, but you weren't yeah. down. So. All right. I don't know what happened Weird. there. Who knows? Yeah. I haven't modified anything with your character either, so I don't know. So. Anyways, we'll we'll call it twenty nine. Perfect. Unless you want to do something else with it, that's fine. No, no. I wouldn't. But there's no. Yeah, you don't have 18 hit points. Anymore, yeah, I don't. Sure. I don't care that much. I was just yeah, like, that seems way too low. <laughs> well, it's a six-sided, right? Okay then. So yeah, take like a short rest there. Uh, doctor still snoozing away. So is the kid. They aren't up at all. Like, they seem to be down for the count. What do you guys want to do? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Hmm. Well. I don't imagine we need to send everybody back, right? I mean, if we're going to take the kid back, it's fine. But I don't know if we want to do that or press on. 
I mean, if you, 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 got, you, got, you guys are kind of like, you know, like you're boxed in this little quarry area. Like, there doesn't really seem to be, I mean, like off in the darkness, you guys could explore a bit more. But like from what you can tell, you kind of ringed in and this is like what they've been digging on and working That's toward right. for a bit. There doesn't seem to be too much more to explore. You can if you want to. But uh, if there's not like an obvious, like huge excavated thing, like if they're they're still I working mean, on it, then yeah, yeah I mean, like the, the thing was the pit. You can see like they're kind of oh, OK, you know, this is there's like a ruined library, you know, that you guys have kind of come into. Like there's a whole bunch of debris and shit all over the ground. So. I go back. I go back to the pit. I'm going to check if anything like I see. I notice any religious symbols or anything like that. Uh, make a, a investigation. You can see, like, what you know, kind of seems like they've mined out is like, seems to be some alcoves that could have like held chests or boxes. You know, like within structures of like room. You know, like the room that they were digging down into. Maybe they were there, and like Maybe there's don't do ancient it. molded uh, bookshelves that you can see the outlines of in the wall where they haven't mined out yet, mm -hmm. but all that's molded to shit and gone. The only reason it's still the case is because it was under dirt and rubble. But uh, you don't notice anything else other than that, so. Well, I just fuck off that a little bit. Okay. So you guys are heading back to your to your elevator? Is that the consensus? Yeah. If, yeah. if there if there ain't much else down here, then we should go back. Uh, can Deliver somebody else the carry job. Mikey? Though no, he's he's about ten pounds heavier. I guess I'll carry Mikey. I got it. I toss him on my shoulder. And follow you guys. All what right, is so the, what, is, what is our dragon uh, dragonborn friend? In terms of strength, does he look like physically uh, competent or not? He looks very physically competent. Uh. I lick my fingers again. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty calm. Yeah, you got some, you got some nice muscles on you there, Mister Dragon. You got some cum gutters on him, so. Oh yeah, some real cum gutters. <laughs> got a nice. I mean, I I can tell he doesn't he doesn't skip leg day. That's for sure. <laughs> Get a nice little wiggle. You might say uh, even that uh, his hips don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> if I had enough time... And he just huffs that goblin up like no problem, and uh, he is wearing full chain. And he's retrieved his weapons also from the back, so he is... Uh, as you notice, he's got his battle axe, and... Sorry. He's got a battle axe, he's got a long sword, uh, you know, his, his gear. You know, that was... That battle axe and that... And that shit is uh, definitely there on him. So, cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to sound rude, but you look really. F I mean, not just that, in a general sense that like I've seen Dragonborn before, but you look very, very familiar. You're not. You're not. You don't have to be related to uh, any other employees of uh, Planar Express, do you? I think my brother went to work for you guys at one point. I'm That's not it. sure. Uh, Vordrim, Vord, Vordrim. I'm yeah, never, that'd I, be him. Oh, yeah, well, <clears throat> I got some bad news for you, fellow. I take it a step farther away from Brandon. Like before. Yeah. Uh, let me guess. He's dead. He's dead. He were murdered. In cold blood by Mr. Brandon. Randy. <laughs> I look at Brandon St. Randy and give him a high five. <laughs> um, I, I, I accept the high five with a confused look on my face. Thanks for killing my asshole of a brother. See, this guy gets it, team building. He's better than uh, you, Brandon. You, you know what? The, my, my face just lights up. Finally, somebody understands he was an asshole. Give me another <laughs> high five. <laughs> I give him another one. Yeah, I like this guy. Fuck that asshole. This one's cool. Welcome aboard. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> we took we took short rest, and you're you're being handled by the new dragonborn. 
and uh, Brandon and him are getting along real well. They're bonding over his brother's death. But you're also asleep. I'm sitting on top. Yeah, you can see like he's 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 like in a cross. He's in like the cross-legged you know monk meditative position, and he's just slowly rising up and down with every (laughs) snore from Doctor Bloomberg right now. Like, oh. All right. So, you guys have short rested, healed stuff. So, um, but still asleep. Still asleep. Well, I think these uh, I think these sleeping. They're they're so adorable. They sleep like angels. Uh, I mean the goblin, not the not the small child. We can drop Mikey back off at the inn. And- I don't want to leave this kid with this paladin. I've, I've heard things about paladins and kids. You know, I think a lot of paladins are, are just good people, but the uh, their, their, uh, the order protects too many of the bad apples, you know what I'm saying? They just transfer them around, they won't kick them out. I heard they lay on hands in strange places. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's completely inappropriate. Am I awake or am I asleep now, by the way? You're, still You're asleep. asleep. You're asleep. Okay. okay, I wasn't sure if the short rest woke me up. No, all right. no, no, no. no. Are we, so are you leaving? Yeah, I guess we'll head towards the lift. All right, so as you're heading towards the lift, and you kind of go by and pass a little bit of, of rubble. Um. <laughs> Shit, here we go. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... uh... There's all of a sudden a kind of like you guys get the feeling that someone's watching you a little bit and out out behind this pile of rubble steps this like ghostly transparent uh, gnome and uh, he goes, ah, buddies, I finally found you, huh? Um, and who might you be? My name is Fivingston Nezlezek, greatest detective, I should say, in the world of Sh- in the city of Sean. Huh? I don't like ghosts or transparent things. No, so what we talking about, buddy? Huh? You're both, but you seem to be a ghost, sir, and that's what's it right with Gruffy. Oh, what are you on the night of? The 34th of After Death in 1629. I I, I gotta tell you guys, I hate this fella. I hate him so much. Oh, he's hurting my cobalt beers. <laughs> like, I'm... <laughs> I'm ready to kill this now. Uh... Seeing as how ghosts don't... How, like, ghosts have something left to do so they need mercy i'm i'm ready to kill this now just as the suspects would and the famous jewel heist that i'm now inspecting Uh, are you what are you doing down here uh friend mr ghost man down here i'm searching for the party that robbed the bank across the corner jewels You do fit the descriptions of the subjects that I was looking for. Hmm. I, I find you, that I find that extremely hard to believe that or you're like the worst detective that's ever lived. You can't ID you look the proper suspects. It certainly weren't us. Good day, sir. As as you guys look down at him, he's dressed definitely like kind of the way that the Sharn citizens are, but seems more antiquated. Uh Okay. You know, but uh like, uh, little tell. long tails, little monocle. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly what it says. Hey, hmm. He's Mr. Monopoly. No, I thought that was funny. Well, uh, as I said, uh, we aren't the folks you're looking for, so have a good day. No, I don't know the folks I'm looking for. Hmm, you fit the description, Tom. I don't think you know this isn't gonna, this isn't going to hold up in court, buddy. Why would it, sir? I need to search against your possessions. I'm sure you have some jewels on you. Hmm. Then what do you want to pilfer with? No. Uh, Gruffy does not consent to searches. Gruffy does not consent to any searches. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm playing every other year. Hmm. A forceful acquisition of your property, sir. There's going to be no problem whatsoever. Listen, Gruffy knows his rights, and you, you, you're going to need to show us a badge or some some sort of identifying information. One. Fishes you out, you're, you're, you ain't performing a search without a warrant, sir. He fishes out like a little like thing, and he's all hung around his neck, and it's got like a little, you know, ghostly. It says, Sh uh, Sharn Inquisitive," you know, with the badge things on it, you know, from, you know, he's like, "How's this for identification, huh? The stuff he attracts." Hmm. Does it have a precinct or any anything <laughs> on it other than like a badge number? That's precinct five four three two uh five four three two one nine. Oh, listen, buddy, I don't know how to tell you that precinct five four three nine's closed for eighty years now going on. I think I might be a little bit closed. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Hmm. Such a hand my badge and sell a report to my officer. Hmm. Yep. I um, need to figure well, out this whole shenanigans discarded by the fact that you guys were down here. Right around the corner from this break here. Walk with me. Walk with me now, buddy. Hmm. And he kind of starts leading you guys off in a direction around the corner for some rubble. Well, I hate his guts, but if he, uh, if he's a sort of a remnant of the old city that used to be here, then maybe he can lead us to some interesting stuff, you know? Yeah, cause I don't we know. haven't seen a bank down here. Exactly. That's what he's... It, if there was a bank here at some point, then maybe there's uh, still some treasure or something. Or he's from the future, say, and we... Reappropriate. Re Listen, Mr. Robot, time travel's real. I'm, I'm, <laughs> that's, just I'm a ro losing, that's just a robot legend. I'm losing my mind here. Like, uh, I'm pacing back and forth, mumbling about ghosts and how they, they're they not... They haven't actually been mercied. Like, I'm freaking out. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> the entire world is just shaken. Like, I'm losing my mind. Hey, Wait. listen. Hey, Mr. Cobalt, listen. I know I know you got a thing about unfinished business and, and uh, sending people to the right reward, but how about this? We go see what he wants, and then we'll kill him together after that. Oh, you promise? We, we're we're going to mercy oh, I, him? We're going to mercy promise. him real good? We're going to kill him so hard he dies again. Oh, okay. Go to okay. Ghost I'm still I'm still losing it though. I follow at the very back of the party when they follow. Uh right. yeah, let's fo we follow the follow the ghost. All right. So the two slumbering souls are still in your care. I don't know who's carrying them, but yeah. I see. Yeah, this is your main approach to the bank. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Gruffy ain't Gruffy ain't admitting to nothing, but supposing that he would, uh, what exactly uh, are you accusing us of? And can you take a scene where you uh, you claim that you saw us? The, goal, the, greatest jewel, the greatest jewel theft of the century. As you see, I've tracked you fools down here. Down on your escape route. I'll arrest you now, but I want you to know full and tell. Well, I have monologue about what you did. I stealth well, that, off. That I, I sneak away since I was in the back. <laughs> What, 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 you, oh yeah, you're still. I'm, I, yeah, I, I sneak away. Like, mm. I I hug the wall and just sneak past him to where he's kind of like taking us. Like, okay. I'm getting ready. Like, I'm ready. <laughs> I see here by the footprints of the rubble that you left in your explosion. Wait, explosion? Yes, some massive explosions that happened here. When you guys robbed the bank, it's just hot on your trail. You understand what I'm saying, boy? Mm, I mean, uh, mm, Ruffy, Ruffy has no idea what you're talking about. Uh, explosion. Wait, that seems like you the work of an amateur. You know Ruffy, else, hmm. Ruffy's far more sophisticated than that. Oh, shit, is there, is the area around, like, where he's leading us he wants to show us you know the scene of the crime or whatever does it does it look like any sort of recognizable structure like a bank or anything there's a lot of fucking rubble down here like that's just the nature of the whole area because the city was built upon the yeah it's been like for it. it's been about hundreds of, or thousands of years right just like no, layers no, it, and layers it's, it's it's been about i'm gonna tell you right now it's been about 500 years for this dome you know 
So, yeah, so it's like the old, 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 old city. Old, old, old. Yeah, that's yeah. Just, you know, I'm trying to convey that shit for you right now. Just a... yeah. But, yeah, but uh, as as you're going along, you know, it's like you can kind of make out what he's talking about, and it's like you can tell he's not obviously there. It's almost like he's cursed during a loop. Uh, actually, give me a perception check. Uh, before I talk anymore. Grumpy, you have a newspaper with the date, don't you? Or. One of you grabbed a newspaper, didn't you? Someone has the new. I don't. Griffey doesn't have it. I mean, your porn mags might have a date on it. The one that has it is Pesta up in the I'm, thing, I'm, and he's. I'm fucked. I'm hiding. Yeah, yeah, he's fucked off, and he's yeah, hiding up he's front. He's gonna though. do a Steven Seagal to him, so I don't think he's. I'm not gonna ask him for it. Um, so I I, I rolled a pretty good perception check. Do do I get any good? You can tell he's definitely like out of place at a time. And you can see the fact that, like, this kind of fucking ruined path he's leading you down what once might have been a street. You can't totally make it out for sure. Okay. But there seems to be ruined columns, you know, and stuff like that. That seems like there are structures caved in shit. Like, what looks like rocks down, especially because of the erosion of time and stuff and whatever else has fallen down from the surface. But you can see that this was once, like, a main thoroughfare. And he's kind of leading you towards, like a little spot in the road that could be the entrance to something. You can actually kind of make out like some wide steps of like something that might have led up into this area. So I was saying, hmm, it's like up here and like Puff is up in front of these steps. Uh, you know, in he's hidden behind like, you know, some kind of crumbling wreckage at the top of these steps that he's leading you guys towards the bottom of. Because Puff said he ran up ahead, you know, he see yeah, so yeah. yeah. The bus up there, but uh, so yes, as I can see, hmm, you guys made your explosions to mask your escape. And as I came down this way, I found you. Now I'm leading you back to the scene of the crime where my constables, hmm. I say um, we have him show us the vault we stole out of. While well, while they're while they're they're like walking up and talking, um, I'm gonna check the newspaper. For any like history if they mention anything happening in a certain time a certain year if give me a history roll <laughs> it's just this day in history oh it's the 500 year anniversary yeah, right? of... <laughs> of the great bank explosion of... yeah i mean it might have been big you, you, you can't find anything in there other than just like the date and the time and some local news wherever you aren't able to discern anything yeah, from the newspaper right. all right Oh no! I'm, I'm just saying, like you can, you can discern yeah, a date yeah, and the time. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking. Yeah. I'm just thinking of my next step. There, yeah. there's, there, there's, That's there's, my character there's, like there's... looking at it and being like, "Well, fuck," and just going like, "Whatever," and just like thinking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, let's play this game. Yeah, I I want to see the vault we stole out of. Uh, all right. Now, now, see here, Kappa. Now you're not gonna pin this uh pin this whole thing on us. You got no proof, see. <laughs> Unless you show us the evidence, you know, you let's let's go see the bank vault, right? Let's go see right now. I'll lead you right there. My constables are waiting. They're behind us as we speak. And you guys see some like glowing orbs floating behind you guys now. Oh, you know, as you're calling them along. <laughs> nice, a ghost cop. Oh, awesome. Called <laughs> for backup. Fuck. Um, I look. So like I'm by a, a doorway, right? Correct. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look inside. Uh, before I sneak farther in. It looks like a crumbled ass fucking, like, super degraded. There's, like, desks in, like, you know, what could have been, like, a, a teller window. You know, like, imagine a bank of his all broken down and caved in post-apocalyptic style. But it's, yeah. like I said, it's super fucking dark and fucked up. So, I you're, you're still stealth. Do I see anything? Do I see any, like, glowing orbs inside? You don't see any glowing orbs inside, but you definitely see like more orbs glowing behind the uh, yeah, growing as they, as they continue down the way. I mean, they I... haven't noticed them yet, but I uh I throw something down at the bottom of the steps. So to cause people to turn around. Sounds good. You're throwing, you're throwing it behind behind them to make like, them turn uh, around and look. Yeah, up and over. Yep. So right, the well, you'll see the glowing orbs. Well, it, it lands. It lands behind. Uh, uh, give me, a, give me a dex, a dex check. Uh, 
He's gonna roll one. It's gonna hit me. I'm gonna cry. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it flies off in the distance and away, and it was like playing off to like the the groups like forward left of where they're facing, and it kind of like this like. <laughs> See the thing that we want to show the ball. Aww. All right, Kappa, you got us. You got to show us the vault, though. You, you, you ain't gonna pin this on us. So the whole thing just stinks. The... I tell you, it stinks like rotten just, cabbage. Just because the war of the mark is happening doesn't mean you have a chance to go and steal from others. Do you understand me? Oh. Right, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I think I don't think that these jewels are missing like you say they are, Kappa. I do believe they are missing. Hmm. I'm missing well, lead... myself, but I came to find you. Yeah. Uh, lead the way. Let's yeah. let's. Let's go have a look right now. Well, let's go. Hmm. And he marches you guys up the steps. And like, as you enter this this room, uh, this it, it's crumbled. It uh, there's okay. really no ceiling. There's really no ceiling left on the building. There's some kind of crumbly wall stuff. Puff is inside. Um, as you can see here, this is where the first thought was made. Aww. And then. Uh, Give me investigation rolls for everyone who's conscious in the room with him right now. Duh. I are a smart boy that rolled a two. All right. I think that's me too. Yes, okay. So Puff, you notice that towards the back of this room, there's like a big chunk of, of pillar that has fallen and there is a gnomish scale, uh, size skeleton, like the dust, you know, like the remnants of, like, and it looks very kind of similar, like the remnants of it, you can kind of match it up to the gnome that is leading them along uh, in this room. Like, might almost be the same person. You don't know that, but you're hidden and you notice that right now. Would you say it looks like a baby skeleton? Can I can uh, I make it, can I make it over there to like check out the skeleton and like whatever else was there? Yeah. Okay. That's a baby skeleton. Yeah, I sneak that over was a check joke on one of the goblins. Who and as you're checking it out, you notice that it's very much like the you know the the few bones that are left that are left in this like kind of moldering, almost undisturbed. You know, what you can see is you know uh, from. Like, it seems like it crushed the lower half of this body, but, like, the bones have almost turned to dust, but the clothing's all the same. The monocle is there and such. Uh, there seems to be, you know, a couple of... Uh, there seems to be, like, a bulge under the, the thing uh, of his shirt. But very, very much so, the... You, you you you're able to deduce Sherlock Holmes wise that this is probably the dead gnome that's leading them around. Savvy? Yeah. yeah. All right. So a twelve. To I grab the monocle. So I, as I as I invest my investigation here, and I begin it here. You see, then the whole thing is there, and he leads you, and he's like leading you further in, and the room is starting to glow a bit. Yeah, actually, the guys are starting to notice this, and there's a lot of glowing orbs around you now. Like, 30 to 40 glowing orbs. They're kind of, like, whizzing around. Uh, Gosh. Yeah. Uh, it's happening. Uh, you know, glowing around. Uh, you guys, you know, your heads and stuff. So much so that you can't really help but notice that this is like, oh, this is this is bad. So, um, yes, uh, Yes, yeah, see, if you step over here and he starts to lead you guys the opposite way from his body, uh, a puff is over there. Is it, is the train passable? Like, can we follow, you know, if he's leading us down into another room or whatever, like, is it, can we actually get to it or is the whole place, like, collapsed well, rubble it's, everywhere? It's, colla it's collapsed and fuck, but he's leading you along a leading path. You know, like, okay. you, can, you can get through there. He's not walking through anything, per se. Gotcha. You know, but, you know, and then like even then, it doesn't like, seem like the, he the, 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 the path the path divides or whatever. You know, I was even so much say it's like, you know, everything's fucked up and you can walk around the room and look at it and like there's collapse shit and there's I rocks and stuff and there's splinters and you know it's it's old, very moldery. It's over 500 years old, so take that as you will. Yeah, and judge that in your mind. But uh, you know, you guys you guys are able to kind of see Puff over there rifling through something, but I he's leaving you the opposite way 
from that. But we see him now. He's not hidden anymore. He, well, I mean, like you guys, you guys, you guys are able to see Puff. The ghost has no fucking any idea what's going on. The, the ghost is on his loot. So. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go over there and see what the hell he's digging into. Oh, I uh, I was coming over to bring the monocle to them and then skulk off like a. Now, what are you going here? Say, I just don't. I just don't see it, Copper. I think. I think you got it all wrong. You got to show me the vault. You got to show me where the jewels were. I'm gonna try waking up Grandpa. What do you want to do? I'm gonna shake Grandpa. Is it doing damage? No, I'm just shaking our goblin. Okay, he doesn't wake up. He yeah. he doesn't wake up. I don't care. I mean, punch him. <laughs> don't punch him. Roll a twenty. You should just drop him. Crush his head. Just yeah. drop him. Make, make it a thing, a trend. That's like a lot of work to bring in all of our siblings if we just keep crushing heads. Just drop them on. Well, I mean, there can only be so many, right? I mean, maybe the mom gets busy a lot, I don't know. Very large clutch sizes. She's a sturdy gal. <laughs> so, Brandon St. Randy kind of, you know, walks over towards Puff. And the, the nose goes around and is like, Listen to me here, son. I'm thinking you for the culprit of this crime. He starts to kind of like glow, you know, instead of the bluish color, he's starting to gain a red color. And then the room itself starts is starting to gain a red color because the, the 30 to 40, you know, globes that are floating around in here are starting to gain this reddish color also as he starts to get more exasperated we with you. We should turn around, guys. I mean, we have a six-year-old with us. What's your name? What's your name, friend? Friend Copper. I'm going to you. My name is Fivingston Zilek. Mm -hmm. Greatest and greatest, greatest novice inquisitive of Sean. Hmm. And you're 1632. I'm Russian. Six. <laughs> I, I sprint past Brandon St. Randy and past everybody else, and I just rush this ghost and pull out the monocle, and the newspaper, and shove them at him. Like, is this like an, an no, no. attack rush? I, I, no, no, I'm <laughs> trying to get him to believe that he's dead, and that it's not the year he thinks it is, and I'm just, just shoving shit in his hands. You're gonna go all Phoenix right on him? And then if he doesn't buy it, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. <laughs> so... Sounds about right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Today's right. a good day to die, boys. <laughs> I want my Mega Man uh, arm, you bastards. So, so as this is so as this is happening, um, like <laughs> one of the, are are you sure you want to do it this way? He's giving you an out. How kind. Sometimes we just gotta commit to our decisions, though. I don't know. He's you. Whenever the DM asks you, "Are you sure you want to do that?" That's always it's always <laughs> worth evaluating. Thing. Yeah, I had. I mean, do what you want, right? I had, I, I had an angle, but it's fine. I mean, okay, okay. I'll I'll fuck off and stay back, but I, I'm just it's, still it's, like I'm it's, it's not it's it's not as I'm telling you to like fuck off and stay back, but I'm. Do you want to do it this way? I'm gonna I'm gonna reevaluate my actions and stay back a little bit <laughs> and think about it. But I'm I'm pretty close on that, yeah. 
All right, well, since you didn't run off like a crazy person, I'm assuming you're still kind of close to me, so maybe you could explain to me what you're thinking or show me what you're looking at. Uh, talk to him, Jedi mind trick, maybe? Uh, you know. I mean, maybe, but <laughs> I show how you. far away are we? Like, are we... You're, you're, the, you're, close to, you're, close, you're close enough to mind link with him if you want two way, so. Yeah, show, okay, sure. Uh, let's do I that. I just hold up the monocle and point at that and point at. That's literally all I would do. Should I try waking up our doctor? Okay. I mean, you did, and you shook him. But no, I mean with you like know. a taser. Like, I'm asking you. Should, you should just drop it. You should just drop it. Well, I just pull him off the dragon board and his shoulders. I was gonna you pull him off and throw. You're, you're, you're gonna tase him? Uh, well, is it a high enough fall off his shoulder to wake him? If not, yeah. If not, I'm he's a very. Tase him. He's got. He's. I mean, he's. He's sturdy, but he's a brittle goblin. I mean, he's. He's aged. He's. So he fell like four feet or whatever. Still, you don't know what osteoporosis does in goblin bodies. Like, just let me know if I have to tase him or not after the fall. Yank him off that body. Are you are you gonna yank him off the dragonborn? Is uh, that what you're doing? Yes. Confirmation. Yes or no? Yes. yes. You're yes. in. Yeah. All right, Shaheen, roll one to four damage for me. Yeah. See, that's way less than my taser. One damage. One damage. Doctor Mikey Bloomberg takes one damage and as he wakes up. Does that wake up, me up? Yeah. Yeah, and, and as he wakes up, he says, Don't touch it, it hurts! Ah, <laughs> uh, what? 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 What's going on? Where, where am I? There you go. Speak up, son! Dr. Mackie Blue. Uh, no one thinks we're bank robbers. Wait, what? We're you... Bank robbers? What? I don't know, we're just following this ghost gnome thing. And I point... Oh, how long have I been asleep? Seven years. Do I believe him? <laughs> make, a you? Roll. make a deception <laughs> roll. Make a deception roll. Make a perception roll. Oh, please let this be a natural twenty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you believe him. <laughs> Seven years. I mean, his well, mentor is an arcane trickster. So I'm like, it. I'm like eighty years old. Look at my beard. It's so long. What? The we robbed a bank? How many banks? <laughs> what how many banks have we robbed? All of them. I'm just like freaking out in the back, like just yelling. Like like completely flabbergasted that I slept for seven years. I was just going to his rage. It'll work out, guys. I promise. Let's see here, your 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 assistant there to the crime is back up and say him. Mr. Gubby, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Flintstone McGillicuddy or whatever your name is. <laughs> uh, you've been played, you've been played for a sucker. What you say? This place, this, I'm telling you, this Wait. place is fine. This isn't a. It, it only looks like an explosion. It's just a mag. It's a magical effect. Seems pretty run out of me, huh? Call him to the ground here. Fucking building this down. Nah, listen, I'm telling. Listen, this is this is a little bit over your uh, over your head. It's above your pay grade. Uh, but uh, that's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying we got to see the vault. I'm a, I'm a, a short job. Yeah. No, not at all. I'm just. Uh, I'm a little bit of a sorcerer myself, and so. Uh, I, oh, so I, you do magic then, huh? That's a confession. I'll take it as a confession. Oh, no, not at all. I'm saying I can dispel this magical illusion and reveal the true state of things as they are. I don't. I don't think the bank was robbed. I think someone's playing a playing a joke on you. Yeah. Come here. Don't fight the fight at all. And like the the hue of everything recovery turns That's down a little, little bit yeah, more IRS. back to blue, but is not. He... So like, is he taking me to the vault, or is it, are we just? Is he just gonna throw accusations around? I I wouldn't go to the vault. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's walking towards the back of this room right now. He's like, yeah. Oh, as like you go towards the back of this room, he begins walking down into the floor. Now he's going through things. Okay, can we can we try to clear this out? Let's try to clear it's, this out. It, it's it's pretty solid. And, uh, uh, yeah, give me a, give me a hand with this, fellas. We gotta. 
I got a, I got an idea, but we got, I'm gonna maybe do a little uh, of a ruse here. I, I but we need I'll to get, we need to get into that vault. Uh, I'm gonna try with assistance. I mean, if everyone wants to help, I'll like, help. Yeah. Let's Why try not? to pry this shit up. What am I rolling? Just a d20 or athletics? Athletics, or yeah. Let's do athletics. Wait. Sure. We got some beefy, beefy folks here. Not me. Wow, I got some great rolls. Nope. See, told you, called it. Yeah, stand, if you're uh, if you're useless physically, you just stand back. Just stand over there. I'm really good at opening locks. Yeah. Where's that new dragonborn? Anyone? Uh, he, he, Shakira. He beefy looking, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, even with the average, you guys aren't budging the the shit that is all collapsed on top of it. And he comes. Marching back up and his head and shoulders are above. He's like, You fool me, huh? So you gotta show me some proof that this isn't a thing, huh? That's what you said. Hmm. Where's this magic illusion? Mm -hmm. And the room is starting to grade back up. Uh, my up to a greater period of red. What? I have a crowbar. You guys can wedge, try wedging and stuff. Well, over. I mean, if you're gonna. You, you could use a crowbar yourself and try and bring your own fucking shit up from a one. You know, with advantage, but yeah, Doc, I'm surprised Doc, you didn't catch on fire. <laughs> I'm terrified. Doctor Mike, do you want to try to help us out? Eh. All right, crowbar is there. It helps. It starts to budge a bit. Uh, Doctor, there's a sandwich on the other side of these rocks. <laughs> Paging Dr. Mike. Yes, sorry. What, what, what's going on? <laughs> there, help, us, help, help us get into this vault. Yeah, there's sandwiches on the other side. What is it? Is there like a door or something? It's like covered in rubble. And we're trying to... Un I'm, I'm, I'm over it. here! Over here having an existential crisis! And you want me to, to open a door? Aren't you hungry after seven years? I go into a fucking rage, and I just start throwing rubble all over the place. <laughs> the room is starting to turn very red. I feel like this is like Mission Impossible. Is this an athletics check? Where, like... Well, like, there's... So basically, the way this is run down is... Like, he's, he's, he's led you guys down to, like, where the bank things... You know, have happened. He's investigating this jewel heist. As he's gone down, more and more fear orbs have started to follow you guys. As you come to the bank, and he begins to get more frustrated with you, instead of blue, going like this nice, closely blue orbs, they're slowly turning red. This is how much you've aggravated him. You guys talked him around a bit. He, you know, it kind of went more back, back to like, you know, a softer shade of blue, but then like it started to come back up to more red. And then with that rage thing and throwing out all of this, you know, the rage and stuff that's happening right now, it's it's you're getting to you're getting to about three peaks of the summer right now, boy. Like I mean, like it's it's turning from like Indian to true summer, and uh, you know, uh, and as he pops up and it's like I said, his head is between his nose. I wasn't doing that, trying to destroy evidence. <laughs> No, we just need to get down there. It seems like somebody's and blocked this guys, doorway. We just need to clear and, this out. And you guys have and you guys have found his body in his monocle, but like you guys were going to come at him in an aggressive manner with it. Which could or could not have set him off, but uh Yeah. And so there's that. So he's trying to lead you into this vault and there's a whole bunch of rubble leading into this. And so now with Doctor Mike flipping out back there and throwing a whole bunch of shit around. Yeah, it's a. Uh, is there like a like, is there like a barrier that I'm that I'm going into rage to like throw around? Like that's what I'm trying to understand. You you the room is full of like rubble in like five hundred. Oh, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got He's it. Yeah, facing yeah. through the rubble. We can't get to him. I and I just I just want to get into the vault. That's Gruffy's that's Gruffy's whole aim here. So yeah. So like, oh, he's going to destroy it. Like the room is like I said, it's getting more red now. Oh, ball your court, go. Uh, he's not seeing the rubble, guys. 
Hey, is 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 um is Pesta next to us? Is he yeah, still? He, he's still near you. You guys are over there. So. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I yeah. came over to help with the. With oh the yeah. Shit. Well, okay. Well, yeah. Well, Pesta's nearby. Pesta wants to break his stealth with the ghost. That's fine. But if not, I, still I just hand the monocle to Brandon St. Randy and sl slide back away. Like I'm still okay. losing. I'm. I like hand the newspaper <laughs> monocle and like I slide away. Like I'm losing my mind. You can kind of hear me like chittering, like my teeth. Like it's like red light, green light, him, right? Want the it light, bad? Like, like ghosts. Ghosts require a lot of mercy, and I'm just losing it. Okay. Hey, uh, ghost, ghost boy, ghost guy. Uh, look at this this uh paper you, you see the date and uh look at look at this interesting monocle i found that i feel like i've seen it somewhere before oh, where'd you find this hmm. i found it uh over over here you should come look it's some interesting stuff in this corner i'm gonna kind of direct him towards the location of the skeleton where i saw pesta hanging out and looking new evidence you say hmm. yes Clearly, new evidence. You must follow me. Let's let's check this out. All right. So he's following Brandon St. Randy around. He's like, "Oh, I, this monocle seems very familiar." Oh, he starts reading through the paper. He's like, "Hmm, I don't approve of this font. They must have changed the font at the Sean Times." And he's like, "Round your heels." So, and like the room is kind of degrading back into blue. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, look at this, look at this, this is a clue, clearly a clue, and I'm going to point out the skeleton to him. What What do you think there? Is he, like, he, he starts looking at the monocle on the paper, and he looks down at the skeleton, and he's, like, and he starts, like, hyperventilating, like, what, like, I mean, he doesn't really breathe, but, like, the motions of, like, hyperventilating are, his eyes get, like, super fucking wide, and he's sitting there, he's, like, more and more, and he's just, like, it says, it says, and he looks. He keeps looking down. He's like, Aah. should we? And step then back from him? the room, the the room is getting very, 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 very red now, like almost blood red. And like all the orbs above him are like streaming and whipping around very violently. He's like, Aah. and then all of a sudden. Damn it! He just dissipates, oh. and every all the orbs of him dissipates, and you guys are standing in complete dark. While that was happening, I was peeking around the corner, staring at him, freaking out. And <laughs> when he disappeared, I felt like the greatest mercy, and I literally it was like orgasmic for my mom. So you have you have some some boy which trickles run down here noted. Uh, but yeah, so you guys are kind of standing over that skeleton right there, you know, or like what's left of it, you know, the, the pile of shit. And uh, an eerie silence just kind of rings out across everything. Um, Do you want to? Yeah. I want to get into and, the wall. And then, uh, but uh, at the same point, uh, I mean, we're still alive. It okay. does seem like there's something underneath that tunic, or, or what's left of the ragged re remains of like the clothes that is there, in the skeletal rib cage. Uh, you can kind of make that out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. I'm. Gonna, I'm not gonna pick it up, but I'm gonna like see what if I can find any more detail about said object. Investigation. Uh, All right. Actually, the police department might pay us for his body if we put it in the bag of holding. There's not much left there, Ty. It's a monocle and a tunic and... Alright, so you, uh... Missing, maybe. It seems like you're able to feel, like, two distinct shapes under there, and then, like... Uh, you find it. You find a coin pouch with about 34, uh, gold pieces in it, but, you know... <laughs> There is something underneath that tunic that you can discern. There's like two distinct shapes. They seem to be kind of little boxicles about the sign of yeah, it. Uh, gold pieces from 500 years ago, though, right? So they're worth like uh, 500 <laughs> gold pieces now. That's how it works. Possibly. 
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell everyone. Hey guys, come over here. I think I found something. You should come look at this. Okay, dokey. Uh, great. That's that'll still be here after we break into the vault, right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it'll get us in the vault. Who knows? We should check oh, it out. There's no treasure in the vault. I'm looking around for more. Like, I'm on high alert. <laughs> so nobody's coming over. So is that the message I'm getting? Yeah, so look look, Alright, sure, I'm digging in then. Like, get, I'm gonna look back and see nobody's coming, I'm gonna go, eh, give it a little shrug, and then just dig in. Alright, so you find uh, some eyes of minute seeing and a gem of brightness. Along with I mean, I'm Bloomberg is I still, like, thing. rage. Rage rubbling, by the way. He's just fucking throwing shit all over the room. Yeah, he's in oh, a sorry. fucking... Uh, Upset about how old he is. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> missed, missed life, missed life opportunities. I'm not like, even married, um, and I'm like eighty. I'll yeah, never have exactly. children. And there, I never find love. I'm like having my midlife crisis now <laughs> as a fucking octogenarian. I need like three prostate checks. Yeah, like you know, I don't know whose teeth are these. Are these <laughs> mine? Are they yours? Like. Jesus, like, I didn't even dress myself today. Did you dress me? Like, whose underpants are these? Why don't I remember any of that? You know, like, Bloomberg is in a full rage right now. So, yeah. there's that going on. And then the, the, and then the other, uh, then the other four are over there still plucking away at that fucking caved-in rubble. So, but you do I see mean, eye, eyes of minute, you, you do find, like, eyes of minute seeing in a gym of brightness so i'm just gonna sign those to you for right now and you guys can pass them uh, well. okay but uh, uh cool. um but I will what, what do the, the eyes of minute seeing do these crystal lenses fit over the eyes while wearing them you can see much better than normal out of range of one foot you have an advantage on intelligence investigation checks that rely on sight while searching an area or studying an object that is within that range. So it's like up close, like magnifying glass things. Oh, okay. That's kind of and then, And then Gem of Brightness. This prism has 50 charges. It actually only has 40. But, it, you know, it, uh, you know, as you find it, it only has 40. While you're holding it, you can use an action to speak one of three commands. Uh, command words to cause the following oh, effect. Like the first forward. command word causes the gem to sh uh, shed a bright light in a 30 foot radius. And a dim light for an additional thirty feet. This effect doesn't expend a this, this effect doesn't expend a charge. It lasts until you you use a bonus action to repeat the command or word until you use another function of the gem. The second command worth expends one charge and causes the gem to to fire a brilliant beam of light at one creature you can see within sixty feet of you. The creature must succeed on a DC-15 Constitution saving throw or become blinded for one minute. Whoa. The creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect on itself uh, on itself on a success. The third command would expend five charges and causes the gem to flare with a blinding light in a 30-foot cone originating from it. Each creature in the cone must make a saving throw as if struck by the beam created by the second command uh, by the second command word. So blinded. Uh, when all the okay. gem's charges are expended, the gem becomes non magical to the right old piece. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you find those two things on his body and about 34. You know on Google Home? Now you can ask your favorite little all right, to toss all, to all that shit in the yeah. bag. Just by using your voice. It's like having a personal DJ on call. Uh, ask Google to play your favorite playlist, give some love to your favorite new song, and turn up the volume of your favorite podcast. Tap the banner to get started with Google Home. Well, time pressure's off. We can take our time excavating and clearing out this rubble. Yeah, I mean, looks like that's that's what we're doing, so let's do it. Let's do it as a team. <laughs> uh, I'm finally ready to, to think there's no more ghosts. I go up and I just start punching the rocks. Saying I'll heal the pathway. <laughs> it's another ghost. The 
fuck else is that rock? Pasta? I just am swinging. So once I see uh, Mikey's rage pitter out, uh, I meant seven minutes. I misspoke. I don't think my rage doesn't pitter out until I'm like done throwing stuff around, right? You have to keep attacking, so I don't know. Doesn't that count? Doesn't like heavy exertion and athletics count as attacking? Like, wouldn't that maintain a rage? What do you guys think? Easily. I mean, punch, sounds punch, sounds punch solid. Well, sounds right. I'm gonna wait then because I don't want my head punched off. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I, that he would stop. I think he would he would go until someone calms like someone has to calm him down. I think. I mean, but there might be treasure in there, so we're yeah. Might as well yeah, so he's just going to town until until someone stops him or calms him down or. He has a heart attack. Whatever happens first. Yeah, that could that could happen too. <laughs> I think Ruffy would just be like, shh, shh, just he'll tire himself out. He'll get he'll get he'll get he'll lose interest. And he just doesn't. <laughs> you don't want to interrupt the, You don't want to interrupt someone while they're raging. <laughs> Got to find some more ogre cock meat sandwiches to come. I mean, it only it only lasts for a minute, right? Uh, let's see. So get as much digging as you can. I don't know how long it lasts for. Like, I think rage just lasts for a minute, unless you fail to attack, right? One is minute, that's correct. No, you're right, it is yeah, one yeah. minute. Yeah, it's like one oh. minute, or, yeah, like, or if oh, you okay. miss to attack. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so just, okay. he'll, he'll tire himself out eventually. It'll be fine. He's just back with pandemonium, so it's like... So, so after we... he's thrown rocks and destroyed the room <laughs> completely... Yeah. Like, if the room wasn't fucked up before and, like, totally rubble, it yeah. is now. Like, there's no recognizable yeah. effect that this was actually a bank. You guys are over there, like, toiling away on this, like, hole, and, like, everything has fallen down upon this. You're not making much headway, like, at all. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's like I said, it's been well, pretty no, quiet. No pressure. No, no time pressure, right? <laughs> so we'll just keep, keep at it until we succeed. Yeah. I mean, we are not, kind of not... babysitting, so there is that. He's hey, is sleeping. that kid still sleeping? He's sleeping. He's, He'll be fine. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He only was asleep for like probably like what, 15, 20 minutes now. Stops. So yeah, he's still he's still sleeping. So okay. Yeah, there's that. You know, you guys are going sure. on. Sure. Let's many, keep how working. Many, how how many hours do you guys want to toil away on this? Uh, I mean, I, as long I as it takes. About, about thirty minutes, and then I just I'm done punching. I just sit, <laughs> sit down. If only acid breath worked on rocks. I comment as I watch them just try to get in. I look a bit, uh, it gruffy. Like, exhausted. Oh! The years have not been kind to you! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your beautiful face? It's the scourge, <laughs> it's the scourge of old age. It's the... The slow death comes for us all. Oh. And Gruffy has no idea that he's talking about, like, <laughs> that he thinks he's older. He's just like, oh my god, your face! You look so old! <laughs> <laughs> and Gruffy's just like, yep, that's right. <sighs> Gruffy, Gruffy ain't a young man anymore, that's for sure. Not like the robot. The years have been kind to him, he, he looks the same. <laughs> I mean, I'll be six years old, so. Oh, he was negative one when we met. <laughs> You're kind of so strange. <laughs> Did someone give me a water? I don't. I don't even know if you grasp that concept of fucking time yeah. because. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know you, I don't know you... his his clock is just fucked. Well, the fact that he starts every fucking session asleep, too, doesn't help him out either, so... <laughs> it's very disorienting. Yeah, very disorienting. So... Like you guys have... Pitbull. You guys have, uh, uh kind of... Have, have kind of cleared the... The path out a bit here. And it's... it's you can definitely see that there's stairs leading down to this... Down into where the fucking gnome was taking you. But you still don't 
have like a full thing and this is about after eight hours of work so you guys have been here about eight hours the kid's still snoozing up in his little bundle uh, um the dragon can doesn't seem to be the dragon no oh, sorry dragon the dragon board doesn't seem to be helping that much and uh but the other you know in pesta stopped punching things his his fist hurt so he's taking a break do you guys wish to continue or uh can you guys have me digging this eight hours and not tell me? Like, it's, I look behind me and they're all taking a break. I mean, so, it's, yeah, like, the two weakest people have been doing this for hours, and, like, these super strong people are just sitting around doing fucking nothing. Yeah. It's great. Sounds about right. It sounds on par for your fucking party, the way the setup is right now, so. <laughs> uh, I look at you, Gruff, and go, we should probably come back with more help. I don't know. I mean, it was kind of a, uh, you know, maybe they'll get the idea eventually, but it seems like they're just dumb as fucking rocks. Anyway, uh, since since no one is paying attention to us, uh, let's discuss <laughs> let's discuss how we're going to kill Brandon St. Randy. <laughs> Take our revenge. My sweet dragon boy. We got to I don't care if his brother didn't like it. What, what Brandon did just don't sit right with Gruffy. Can we get home first? Who are you, who are you talking to? You're talking to Easy? Yeah. Okay. Nobody else is helping, so no one else is paying attention. So. It's a little private combo. We should probably get home first. Oh, no, I'm not saying right now. I'm just saying, you know, keep an eye out. When the moment's right, Gruffy will let, Gruffy will let you know. What's the secret word? So I know? Mm, I think you'll see the hatred in Gruffy's eyes, and you'll, you'll understand that now is the time. Also, when I say kill Brandon. <laughs> uh, okay. So, semi AFK, I'm listening, but I'm gonna use the restroom. <laughs> oh my god! I walk over and just see you two talking. Oh, hey, Mr. Dragon, you wanna help us with move these fucking rocks? I, I, I suppose I could help a little bit. Oh, well. Also, I overheard what you said, and I'm totally okay with it. Great. If you wanna uh, help us out, you know. Again, no. Wait, for, wait for my signal. Two of us could have got our spells back while they dug, but no. I'm um, I'm outside pacing back and forth. Right Mikey's like huffing and very out of breath. Seven years haven't been good. Alright, so you guys are like nothing in the safe. Alright, so so you guys uh are going down and suddenly you kind of like start to break through into an open area. You can kind of like see into this. this. You can't really see anything. It, it just seems like a dark uh... void in front of you because there's really not a light going, getting in there. So, but you, you're like the, the crunch or whatever, and then some, a little bit of a shit falls away. So, you peer into this, what seems to be this large room. It's very dark. Uh, can we? S yeah, I mean, we have dark vision, so can, is it big enough opening to squeeze into? I mean, as of right now, it's like I said, like you said, the crunch, and you guys can kind of look through. It's about a headspace full. It's about. Well, sorry, like, you're you're kind of robot boy. Yeah, hold on once. Is there a form All right. we can fill out for dynamite from Planer, Gruffy? Like an order form for supplies? So, it's about a it's about like a head shaped hole. It's like you said, there's a crunch. You kind of able to see in, you know, to the room or whatever, even with dark vision or whatever. You're like, oh, this is more dark than usual because there's no light in this room, or whatever. And it's like it seems very sealed. It seems to be like about it. It goes off in the darkness or whatever. Like you can see that there were shelves and stuff in here, but all the shelves appear to be empty as what you can see right now, but it's further than you can see uh, uh, in the dark. So it's a very large, obviously, being a vault and all, but, uh, you know, you, can, you know, you're able to see into there, and from what you see, it seems mostly empty, but you have about a head-shaped hole. If you want to clear it out, it's probably going to take you about another hour, and you guys have spent, like, probably about 11 hours down here already digging down the stairs into the into this vault, so... 
I'm gonna throw one of the flashlights in there. That'll be my last one for the day. Just to see if we can see anything before we leave. Alright, as you throw that flashlight in there, it kind of spins around as you toss it in on the floor because it's directionally beamed. It's not a glow stick. And you can see it goes off in about like a hundred. You know, like the room itself seems to be about, you know, at least a hundred foot by hundred foot. But it seems pretty here. dusty, obviously. And uh, doesn't seem to be a lot of things caved in here, but like moldering bookshelves, like lots of lots of dust of like where books used to be. Um, doesn't seem to be a lot in here. You're able to kind of catch a glint off in the distance of something shiny. God damn it. Guys, I feel like we should um, maybe return to this venture. This this child should really go back to his father. This is getting a little ridiculous. We've been down here for nearly half a day. Listen, the child's not dead yet. He's asleep. He's fine. Yeah, just, ima just imagine how quickly it would have gone if everyone had decided to help. Been out of here in a couple hours. I can only punch so much. But it hurts. Well, do we want to make, like, a hole big enough for one of the little guys to see if they can get it before we go? Force the child in. I think it'd, it'd have to be me, because Mikey's stomach's too fat. I'll, I'll give you all another hour or two, but after that, I'm just going to take the kid back myself. I vote we force the child into the hole. I'm going to give you a look and ponder. So maybe he is a piece of shit like his brother. Oh, I never said I was a good person. <laughs> runs, runs in the family. <laughs> I don't want to deal with a third one. I'm a black dragon. What do you expect? All these, all these black dragon born are complete <laughs> assholes. Fox sakes. Okay, yeah. So like, uh, I'm assuming that you're gonna like dig a little bit more to like fit pasta in there. I mean, it, like, meta, you know, table talk, right? Is everyone really just like standing around for eight hours doing nothing? I mean, I did say I was helping, but I mean, you know, I, I, I heard help. me, and then you you had your little moment of like I mean, inspiring. I mean, they, they, so I guess they, I'm not they, doing they've, anything. They've been helping, but it's just like I said, there's a vault. You guys have gone down probably like a hundred feet of stairs in this time it's not like you're not it's, it's not like it's like oh you're chipping through granite like you're pulling out rubble you're doing stuff but like a hundred feet of shit especially heavy like after 500 years has collapsed down this like this tunnel that you guys have dug and you've been digging it out and pulling it up you know you guys are basically excavating right now to get down into this thing because you guys are gonna get down this vault that's fine yeah i but, thought uh, it was like a doorway yeah that we were trying that's to what through. like yeah, so the, I think the confusion for me is like, uh, we we rolled a check, which to me implied there was a chance we could have gotten to follow the ghost. Yeah, no, there was, well, there was a whole bunch of shit on top of this fucking tunnel that you guys were just like initially trying to get through, you know? And it's like, once you pulled that off, I'm sorry if I didn't communicate this well, but like the tunnel is like collapsed or whatever, and you guys have been going and digging through this tunnel. Oh, okay. Let, yeah, let's go home. Yeah, I thought it was like we were trying to get through like a doorway that was collapsed. No, yes. you guys, you, you, you guys have tunneled down on our feet, but you're on the breadth of this room now. Like you can yeah, see you into broke this room. Through. <laughs> yeah, you broke. You broke through. So you're on the precipice of something. You don't know what it is, but you guys have tunneled down into this vault now. So the vault is there, and it wouldn't take that long to drill out a hole a little bit more to get Pesta through it. If you don't want too much time, too much time more time. Oh, take it like another hour or two more to make it so you guys can go all walk around the room and search it. Did I communicate that better now? I'm sorry if I didn't. Yeah, before. we should. We've already come this far. We may as well get a little buddy through there. Yeah, I'll find things. The punch. I don't know if this is accurate, but Gruffy's always heard that uh, uh, any any hole that a goblin can fit his head through, he can fit his whole body through, like a mouse. Oh. True. That's 100% true. 100% true. 100 true. Even if their belly's bigger than their head. Wait, I have the flask of oil. We can oil him up and just <laughs> push him. Yeah, just... Here. Oh, yeah, he'll love that. Just, just, he just needed... butter him up. I get my, uh, I pull out my, uh, my scalpel and I try to make, you know, I try to make like a little, little, little incision in the stone, you know? 
Hey, yeah, poke around a bit or whatever. See, it seems very tight or whatever, but I, I mean, <laughs> you don't have a lot, a lot on already. But I, I think that you, you all of a sudden, to the chagrin and embarrassment <laughs> of everyone else, you start stripping down the minute they say pour oil on you. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that seems great. And you're like, What's you're like yeah, it's like me up, boys. <laughs> and you're ready to go, even if he's like aren't. He's like Willy from fucking, from uh, the groundskeeper Willy from The Simpsons. Hey, woman, have you got yeah. any grease? Then grease yeah. me up. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Should we, yeah. should, we, should we tie a rope to him before we push him in the hole? I think that might just interfere with the slipperiness. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, if you don't want to do that, then, then he won't be able to fit through the hole. His head will be too big. You're the one that's going. Yeah. I'll follow him. You're getting greased. He said goblin. Oh, me? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can, <laughs> I, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm just following. Because if you can fit through the hole, I can fit through Alright, grease me up, boys. All right. So, yeah, Gruffy he, takes, to, you know, pours a little oil, <laughs> claps, you know, gets the nice ready. He probably, Gruffy probably takes his shirt off too to help grease it up. Oh my god. All right, yeah, so like, you have a goblin in a loincloth with a scalpel, and then you have the cobbled behind him. They're both ready to go. Into We're all room. enjoying this way too much. I start doing like, like stretches and shit too, and there's, <laughs> it, there's a lot of like bad creaking and snapping noises when I'm stretching. <laughs> And then I just fucking go for it. Like, I just, I dive right in. All right, you're in the room. Do I, do I bring anything with me? Can I bring my axe or am I just... You, I'm just... I, I, said, I said you have your scalpel. You throw your scalpel in and okay, you good. dive in. Good deal. I got crawling right behind him. So he's crawling right behind you. So oh, great. You guys are, so you guys are in there. Like, you land down. Like, like kind of a thud. And uh, you stir up some dust, and there's a bunch of like moldered shelves around you that have pretty much just crumbled in dust themselves or whatever. But uh, the flashlight that they threw in earlier is shining back in this far corner, and uh, you're kind of getting like a little bit of a shine, a shine from it. So. Oh, I, I, uh, I walked so, straight. How, how, sorry, how big is this room? It seems like, is it like to be a big like, room, or is it like a little like closet? It's, it's a very, it's a very large room. No, you guys like a this vault. is a vault, so it's like ceiling is not too high. Like you know, the ceiling's normal. The ceiling's about like you know, twelve feet high, but you know you can see like how things were bolted in and stuff. But the ceiling hasn't collapsed. There's nothing. It's just everything in here is pretty much rotted and fucked up. Other that you know, in your sixty foot dark vision radius, like close to the door, like. But as you can see, there's something shiny off in the distance that's about a hundred feet away where that beam of light is landed on. Oh, that that's not the the shiny thing is not the flashlight, it's something that the flashlight is illuminating, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, you're getting you're getting a refraction off of that. Alright, we both we both approach oh, that. I just we gotta walk straight at it. Alright, so you watch straight at it, and you find like this shining this 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 vial of liquid that's sitting on a shelf <laughs> and it's just, you know in you know you know and it's, it's very it's very dusty but you know there's a couple a of bottle. points on it where it's giving off like a hint of refraction that you guys saw some fancy bottle of wine maybe is it, is it set off is it labeled or anything it's not labeled at all it's, it's uh, just a I glass mean... it, it's just like a glass you know about it would fit in your hand about the size of like you know like a of a you know 12 ounce soda bottle bloomberg or, picks know. it up and starts kind of like inspecting it okay so as he as he brushed the dust off of it uh it you know off. it looks like it seems to be like there's amber liquid inside of it Ooh. and there's a scorpion tail and where you can make out like an adder's fang a dead spider and there's a tiny heart and against all reason, it's still beating inside this amber fluid oh. as it like floats around as you move it around your hand. That's not good. Please do not be a witch, phylactery, or whatever. Oh, I'm like, I'm like looking over Bloomberg's shoulder, like trying to check out what this is. I want to grab it. I think I found a it. bottle of the hottest sauce that anyone could ever think of. <laughs> it's preserved this heart. Can you imagine how good this would be on a hot dog? 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I love a good hot dog sandwich. We better keep this good buddy. I I, uh, I show it to him. Oh, I, I, I open it and smell it. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Holy yep. shit. Uh, Uh, when you open that, though, all the things inside of it vanish. Everything does. Everything in that, everything in that, in that potion just vanishes. All of a sudden, they disperse in the liquid. Oh, but the liquid's still there. The liquid's still there. You don't know how long it's gonna go, but uh, it's 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 still all in there. He broke the seal. Yep. I take a whiff, like a big whiff. Oh my. It's so hard playing stupid characters. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got a bit of it's got it smells like it has a bit of like tang. Uh maybe maybe hint of paprika. Uh, That's not good, and, tell and, and like a pungent smell, like an earthy smell to it too. Oh, I'll give you I give you fifty gold if you drink that whole potion. I or if you drink it. that whole hot sauce right now. The second he says it, I just drink it. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I, oh, I he's gonna be he's gonna like be explosion. farting out his his stomach. Jesus Christ! How old are you, Puff? Twenty five. All right. That's I need as old you as to, Mikey. I I I I need you to roll uh, a one d six for me. <laughs> oh, this is so, gonna be good. I know what this is. Yeah, that's great. So you just uh, d you d age. You got eight years younger right now. Oh. Oh, uh, we should have gave so, it to the Warforged. Wait, how old is he now? I'm I'm 17. As I I, I have my hand out, waiting for the 50 gold, <laughs> and slowly lose eight years you were probably yeah. freaking out because you think seven years have gone by and then you just saw me eight right. aged by eight years probably losing your mind <laughs> the time oh! is speeding up <laughs> <laughs> this must be this must be what happens when, when you're about to die i've seen my life flash before my eyes twice see, today. See my good buddy grow up before my very eyes <laughs> jesus christ how old can cold holes <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I like okay. run. I like dive out of the hole, and I start. I'm like screaming bloody murder. And you're still like dusty, but you're oiled up at the same time, so dirt's clotted around everything, and it's in your beard because there's oil in the beard, so there's more dirt and mud, and you just look irate, and you're swinging your axe around. So and, did it look yeah. like the rocks gave birth to a goblin that just spit Yeah, it's out like of it's hole. like the scene from uh from was it Dumb and Dumber? No. Yeah, no uh Ace Ace Ventura. Ventura. Yeah, Ace Ventura, yeah. yeah. He, comes, he, comes, he comes out of the fucking the, the rhino. Like, yeah. Well, yep, the rhino's <laughs> asshole. Like that is definitely what's happening the right arm now. The arm flops so. out and he's all <laughs> <greasy. laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm kind of freaked out because A he didn't give me the 50 gold. And he ran out of there like super crazy. So I'm chasing after him. I like, mean, you owe me 50 gold. And I dive through the hole. And you're younger than you were when you went in. So everyone's going to react to that, obviously, because. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I, yeah. I just feel I feel weird because I drank the potion. Well, you're, you're back. Wearing the you're plate doctor, man. Yeah, so. That's right. He's not wearing a mask. We couldn't decide on the yeah, mask for American Girl Retired. So he's just, he's, he's. Yeah, he's I just, just didn't have one. Little baby dragon. Yeah. So yeah. So there's that. That was all they found in there. So. I just hold up the empty, empty bottle and it's like, oh, this is all I found. Dad, he's getting younger. You're getting older. I don't know what's going on here. This is crazy. I need a, I need a nap. I need a nap. And then I just fall asleep. <laughs> Like I just lean against the wall and fall asleep, and that's I, it. You slide, I, down, I, you slide down, you slide down the wall, and you're just drooling, snoring. Yeah. Yep. So. 
I put Poor him back guy. on the dragonborn. Just tuckered himself right out. <laughs> I put him back on the dragonborn <laughs> shoulder. I guess we go. I I look at the warforged and comment. You think he would have learned his lesson from the first snap? <laughs> I take it that was the only magical potion to take years off your life that was in there, huh? What a shame. Uh, Terrible shame. It wasn't hot sauce. I don't. I, mean, I didn't didn't sound like it. Yeah, you seem physically younger, and so assume mm. so. Got a magical de aging potion. My youth, tongue did tingle quite a bit. Youth truly is wasted on the young, and doubly so now for you. He has to see some cobbled acne popping up like around his snout. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a really shitty cobbled mustache. Like it's real yeah, thin. Just like... And just like kind of coming in, but it's awful. It's oh, really yeah. bad. Peach fuzz, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just terrible. It's like, what are, what are you talking about? It's great. I feel uh, fine. Is your voice going to start cracking? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I guess we should go. Uh, yeah, let's take the kid. Take the kid home. All right, so you guys have made your way back up to the elevator. Uh, we're assuming the easy open is fussed with the mechanism again. The elevator is waiting for you. Um, oh, the war fortress would have sent it back down, so I figured they it sent it back like, down. Tampa. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's Real, there. It's waiting for you. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, like so, it's there. Tie it. You know, I'm assuming the easy open is gonna fuss with it again, and it's gonna take you back up. So you're back up, and you you've made your way back to. The unicorn state with a still sleeping even though it's been about 15 hours it's still sleeping uh six-year-old child in someone's arms someone's carrying him or whatever unless he's been in the back of holding he's probably dead by now but i don't think that happened so it didn't he was uh, on, it's on brandon all right he's on brandon brandon's yeah, carrying him brandon's the most normal looking one out of all of so as you approach the gate the guards like you know, come alive, and one of them runs away, and the other one immediately escorts you up to, like, the, the palisade that they were sitting on before in a very, 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 very bedraggled uh, uh, Alden comes out, eyes wide open, is like, you did it! You did it! He's here! And, like, he picks up his son, and everybody's like, why is, is he okay? Is he asleep? We're like, what happened? Why is, he, why is he sleeping? And he, like, snaps his fingers three times, and uh, <clears throat> Vistari fucking streams, you know, call a healer, call a healer, call a healer. You know, and you know, Do we more guards run in the house, and there's a big pandemonium. He sits down, and Alden's cradling his son in his arms, and like he begins to weep a little bit. He's just so happy to have his son back. He's he's asleep, and he doesn't know what's wrong with him. And he's like, he's like, oh, th th thank you, friends, thank you so much. I never thought that you would actually. Get my son back. I'm free from this torture. Finally, I I, uh, I tell him that we found I found poison, sleeping poison, in the room, and he might have touched that. Could that be it? Could that be it? Huh? Uh, yeah. It's right. It's right. Our friend got it too. Uh, we just threw him on the ground and that woke him up. But maybe you want to actually get a, a cleric or someone that knows what the fuck they're doing. As as this as this you know as all, you know as you say that like. A, a woman in in white robes comes running out, and uh, uh, oh, Bonnie McMurray comes running out, and she <laughs> <laughs> she comes out, and she picks up you know picks up the sun, and starts like it is it is it probably sleeping it was probably sleeping job like Taggett's agent or something like that. She's like she nods her head and she cradles the child, and she takes him off, and Alden like runs his fingers through his hair. And this one, I was like, I, I can't help you enough, my friend. Like, I, I can't thank you enough, but, uh... A little my... suspicious. She just seems to know exactly what kind of poison it was, but all right, we're going to no, move, no, move on right no. past that. No, Vis, 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 Vistai said that, like, because right hand man said that to her. And she mm -hmm. nodded, and she took her. Vistai. Yeah. You know, like, probably a tag of age or something. It's very common sleeping poison, but yeah, whatever. So she takes him away, and she's like, uh, both she's going to the, the house to work on him. It's like... You have you have no amount of things for me that could ever. It's like please stay here the night. I'll you know have all the food and drink that you want and 
Have a rest, and I'll tell you anything that you need to know for your cause. Please, um, in here. But uh, there's there's only one additional thing I, I would ask of you, please. Um, if you could keep my name out of uh, your discreet incident report, I'll happily give you uh, three three hundred gold. Just this scandal can't happen as of right now to my family. I, I thank you again. Like, don't don't think of this this way, but I mean, I wish to reward you. What scandal you refer to? I mean, do people not know that your son was missing? They do not know my son was missing, no. They do not. Mm -hmm. And also, um, as uh, my my contacts have told me, that there was an inquiry made to the Sean Guard. So that is the more important thing, that uh, the Sean Guard does not find out of any involvement of my house whatsoever. My well, son is back. I'm happy to give you 300 gold. I'll give you room and all the board that you need during your journey to, as you finish off this quest. But please... Well, um, discretion is a is a Planar Express's middle name, if it were a person. It might be, as far as you know. So... Yeah, girl, that, that I seems... For tax purposes, it was. That's the, for tax purposes. That is that is correct. It is it is actually a legal person named Planar Express. Uh, Probably but, a, but, but a church. I believe we are a nonprofit, actually. Uh, again, for tax reasons. At the, at the at the same time, as well though, I do believe I'm allowed to leave you a tip that you're allowed to keep, right? As contractors. Uh, so certainly. A tip, a tip. It's it's so sort of a it's always allowed that uh, each each member of the party could accept a tuity. Uh, certainly. But you listen yes. So I will. I will tip you for your service then, of a uh, of three hundred gold. We can split it amongst yourselves. Yes. All right. Sorry. That that's not legal. But tipping each of us fifty gold piece. That's certainly. I will tip each of you fifty gold pieces. Then. Wonderful. So, all right. Beautiful. Not a word. And uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Just. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's like he's a bit he's a bit shaken he's still very gaunt or whatever and he like he lets off this loud whistle and then uh uh some servants run forward from the house he's like please please uh give them any food and drink they want and he was for Vistari. he's like he's like pay them as well please and like Vistari comes up and he gives each of you 50 gold pieces nice. so if it, you know if there's any information that you need please um uh, meet me at the meet me at dinner in the hour. I must check on my son though, if you understand. I've not. Oh, certainly, him. certainly. Yeah. So he rushes off. Sorry, pays you, and he gives all of you guys some gold. Um. And we can consider this a long rest if you guys want to. Yeah. Then come down to <laughs> I was so scared with one spell slot. And then also at this point, uh, you guys are all level four, so. Oh, sweet. There's a... oh my god, I love Mega Man. I love how you're like preteen now, Puff, and I'm like old man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like Doogie Hauser almost. Yeah, yeah. With this. We can Perfect. turn them into a sitcom and make money that way. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm pretty tickled that that blew me. Thought it was a bottle of hot sauce, and then dared the cold wolf to drink it. That, yeah, that kind of cracks me up. I mean, you're the doctor. I'm your assistant. I'm just like down. Like he must know what it is. Bam. Uh. Well, should we I do, mean, should how we do I level up now? I think level up is easy, right? Isn't it just health and everybody gets a uh, ability score upgrade or a feat? Is that right? Yeah. I mean, I know what I'm gonna do. Mine's gonna be easy. I get how do you want me? How do you want me to do this, Zach? You want me to do it in Beyond? Uh, do it. Do it here now. Like, um, we'll we'll do it in Beyond, and then uh, well, do I don't know. Beyond. We'll do we'll do it here now. Do you, I mean, do you guys want to keep playing, or do you want to? All right. Well, there's my there's my health roll. So nine. Right? Nine, so and you're... then I'm gonna take then I'm gonna take two points in Constitution. So 11. I think, I think you can give us each a level, maybe? Hold on, I, I think I, a bunch of no, stuff I, happens when I raise I, my hit points, when I do my constitution, don't I? 
you, we get two two hit more hit points. So it's like you went up eleven hit points. Does it does it retroactively apply or no? Like wait, like, like what do you mean? Like your your the, the constitution bonus. The constitution yeah, the bonus is retroactive. It yeah. does, yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, so I'm gonna get. But if you're in fantasy grounds, if you just increase the score, it should figure that out. Got it. So let's do that first. Is that many points I'm adding to your max? So you should be at four. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Okay. So this should put me at seventeen. Alright, that should Okay. Me. And then class. What am I well, how many point hit points do I have now? Thirty seven? Thirty you have thirty seven right now. You oh, it didn't nine. do it. It didn't do it. Okay. Hold on. Uh okay, so ability score, we did that. Let's see it like you able to edit our sheet in Fantasy Ground? Yeah, as I was gonna say, I can edit anything in Fantasy Grounds. I'm, I'm DM. I've got one yeah. here. Oh, oh you, you can. Yeah. We, we, we can. can. I got you. Got you. We yeah. can change a lot of things. We just can't change attributes and like class stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hell I, yeah. I, I just, I just saw that stuff. So it's locked. So you guys can't cheat. There we go. You know? Okay. So I, I, took thinking, two I, I wouldn't suspect any of you guys cheating. I wouldn't bring cheaters in the game. But so yeah. I'll okay, so, so. I'll just take the average. I'll just take the four plus four plus one. So I'll just take nine hit points and two. Did I gain a spell? So nine plus four plus three. Why can't I add that? 16. Give me 16 hit points. Damn. So nine is what I rolled. Four for the constitution bonus for this level, and then one point for each level prior to this one. So that's three more. So, so 16 hit points? Yeah, 16 hit points all day. All right. So. 37 plus 16 is 53. Yep. All right. Bloomberg's done. And my con is up to 18, and my AC goes down one. God damn it. I wish. So you're 17 AC? No, uh, 19. It should be 19 now. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm second D. It should go up one. Okay. So you're 19 AC. Correct. 19 AC and uh, 18 constitution. So we added... 18 constitution... Wait, is that right? Fairy fire. Unarmored. Wait, description. How does this work? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta read this now. Something seems off here. Unarmored defense, here we go. Yeah, 19's correct, because I have the... the um, yeah, the, uh, the Yeah, the cloak, that's right, that's right. 19 is correct. There you go. Alright, so, so you have 19 AC, 18 constitution, You got it. hit that's points. It. That's it, I'm done. Right. Boomer oh, son. Gruffy. Give me two, 20, two charisma. Two yeah, so charisma. twenty there. Uh, nine hit points. Oh, so you're at thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Fucking do it. And then I'm gonna choose. I get a new cantrip, and then I can. I get a new spell slot, and I get to swap out spells when I level. So I'll tell you that stuff later. Okay. You can just drag your spells, uh, Bagel. Yeah, he, you you can do all that on your own. Uh, with this, with the spells thing, I think you guys should yeah, be able to. Uh, if you don't, if you don't, have, if, yeah, if he doesn't, if you don't have access to spells, open up a uh, your library button at the bottom and click spells icon. Why are you still, uh, ha ha ha. Okay. And then click on spells, and you should be able to search and drag spells. So we. Okay. Mister Monk Man, what do you got? I know you now have four key over three key. All your key are refreshed. Uh, oh. Oh, oops. I took the dowsing rod so you all can lay off now. You took dowsing rod? Yes. You're a dowsing rod? Yes. As a cantrip. That's, that is hot. What's my hit die? Six. Oh. 
do cancel. Two plus does he gets he gets his con bonus, so he gets four. So he gets he goes up to twenty eight. Yep, and uh I just wanna see We're just gonna it. throw the When does this go up? Five? Five. Oh there are two points on dexterity, I'm gonna go up to twenty. Alright, you're max on Dex. So there you go. Bloomberg, Gruffy, and Pest are done. Ty. Uh, two and your eight. Advice? Two and eight. So you're 18 and now. And 31 hit points. I'm just doing the beyond average. That's fine. 31. So there you go. I'm going to switch uh, my infusions around, but that'll be in between sessions. But my spells are fixed. Yeah. You can deal with that later. Um. Dragon Ken and Brandon St. Randy. I'm doing the beyond average real quick. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I might do a feat. I have to look at them, but there's like 50 of them. Okay. I would just bump your guy up on beyond one level so you could see uh, HP. Um, 36 HP on beyond and just two points in strength. Housing. God. How many hit points? 38? 36. 36. 36 hit points. 18 strength. Oh. What's your hit points go up to, Chris? You have 36 now. What did I... Uh, let's find out. Hold on. A 1D... It should be a 1D10. Yeah. Is this the 10? Yeah, this is the should 10. should be a 10. Right? Fuck! Alright, so... That so two plus and then three the con is mod five, is... Yeah, 5. 5, 41. Which, I, that, I might have to backtrack on that with the, if I add into con the stats instead of doing a feat, but I have to look through the feats to know if I'm going to make that decision or not. Alright. Alright, so you guys want to keep going, or are you done? I mean, I have uh, a long going. Going. I would be fine uh, to stop. I gotta get yeah, up I think I, I gotta get, I gotta call it a night here probably. Because I still have probably like another hour to two hours planned out for you guys as I worked ahead today. So. No, let's let's give you a break. We'll uh we'll play next week. Yeah. Okay. When so, do you guys want to play next week? So, so the thing is with next week, I work six days. So I work Monday through Monday through Saturday, so I could do. Sunday next week or Monday as the week flips over because I get Sunday Monday off next week. Does that make sense to you? Like yeah, either Sunday. of those days are fine by me, probably. Yeah. So so we could do Sunday or Monday of next week. And tell you what, um, I'll put up a straw poll in the channel, and you guys click on the days that works for you. Or like sounds you know, like a plan. Perfect. And it'll be it'll be multiple choice, so it's not like oh like all these people voted on it. So we'll you know we'll pick the day. You know, like if there's one day that you don't want to play on, don't click it. Or if there's something that you might have something to do on, don't click it. So just click on one of those two days, or both of them, if they both work for you. If they both work for you and everyone works for them, we can do it on that Sunday. But if other people, you know, if it doesn't, if it, you know, like I said, if the day doesn't work out for you, so we'll take the six out of, we'll take the five out of five day. I got changed my Instead of like the four out of five day. Make sense? Savvy? Yes. All right. Are you guys proud of me? I have a dowsing rod now. It shoots ice. I'm proud. Oh, there's there is there is one more thing. As you walk into your room, no, and you go, no, it, I'm gonna make you as, do as you, a as, session. As, as, no, as, I can't as, hear you. As, 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 as you walk into the room, you kind of brush up a lamp on the side, and you do catch yourself on fire for no you. damage. Yes. <laughs> I use all but, uh, my spell slides for shield and the bubble turret. <laughs> yeah, no spell slots left because it's before the long damage. Uh, the long rest. So, yeah. Uh, Ty still did set himself on fire. Uh, but it wasn't. It was so uh, close to making it through a session. <laughs>
So we'll do, we'll do either Sunday or Monday of next week. Nice. Not uh, this coming Monday, but the the Monday after next week. So. Yeah, the eight. Yeah, let me look at my calendar. It will be eighteenth. Yeah. Yeah, seventeenth or eighteenth. Oh yeah, so we'll do seventeenth or eighteenth. So. No, no. Hope you guys had fun. You guys got some new magic items and scrolls and shit to play around with with shit that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, oh, get into the fun stuff that I've been looking forward to doing for a while. For a while now, so. I need a shield, is what I need. I don't think you can use it, can you? I need What's actual up? light weapons. Sure. So I can use Why not? Why, why can't you use a shield as a barbarian? It's either. Barbarian or monk, one of them, their their defense thing goes off if they're holding a shield. It might be monk, I don't know. It's one of them. It's definitely not barbarian. One of them might be a monk. Well, yeah, you can. It actually specifically says you can use a shield and still gain this benefit. Yeah, so then the monk's the other one that says you can't. Yep, no shield for me. Well, yeah, that makes sense because you need both your hands free. So yeah, so uh, just write down your hit points and everything. I'll leave this open for a bit so you guys uh, can do that, and then uh, update your update your D and D Beyond sheets or whatever. And then if there's things that you guys didn't, you know, still have to pick or whatever, let uh, let uh, the DM know, and we'll go from there. And I'll update it. Just make sure you update it on both because it's a nice uh, it's a nice backup to have. If you know what I mean, especially because yeah, like we ran in with Biggles tonight. Like he does not have 18 hit points, but for, it was there that way. Yeah, you know, who knows? Yeah, 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 like <laughs> it's like Did I feel like me wrong. God. No, it's like I'm not trying to kill you guys, but like, I mean, I am. But understand, like I'm not gonna fucking be like, oh yeah, you have less hit points or whatever. So fuck you. But there you go. So. Yeah, because I already hey. added the stuff to my Beyond character sheet, the scroll and stuff. You have to name the scroll, guys. Like, it tells you what level it is, and then you can put a note on Beyond. Yeah, so... Um, I have yeah, getting... Fall and Fairy Fire now. Yay. We're going to get into it. I'll tell you that much. I think it's bad. I'll just use the rope trick and just crawl up into the portal and just stay up there yeah those scrolls i gave you are uh some off-putting weird shit so there you go have fun with that too as well yeah. right. I, have, I have 53 hit points that's pretty good how many oh, yeah. 53 price man well barbarian yeah what do you want for me that's still a 20 point buffer compared to me Dude, I hear you. I roll a fucking D10 and I have 41 points with 16 con. So it's yeah, like that's insane. Why, that's why I, I have, have 20 it. health. Like the, the the guy who rolls a D6 has three points less than me. That's insane. 28. Well, with, we all know my luck. I just do the average on Beyond because I'll roll a 1 on health. Oh, that's... At this point, I, I've rolled two nines for the last levels. So if I roll something low, it'll at least average out a little bit. So it's not the end of the world. If I get that big 12, mm. Fairy Fire is going to be nice I, with you I'm just going to be happy that I've got the health to take another beating from the Paladin now. Mm. Oh, you guys are buddies, man. You bonded over the death of your brother. Also, too, the, 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 big, the big thing that I will say before you guys all all leave the channel or whatever we go on much small talk is remember you guys are going to have dinner with alden diorian who probably has a wealth of information about what's going on and, and uh mcguffin stone and how to get a mcguffin stone uh what is what's going on with him yeah mcguffin stone what's going on with the dask all that shit so think about things that you want to ask him while you're eating uh coffee right. sandwiches over dinner you know, whatever, which he'll probably have to ship out for, because I don't think the, the high nobles dying on cockmeat, but I'm sure he'll... Oh, do we have to bring things. something? Oh, yeah. Can, can we start you, by, bring, by... You don't have something? to bring... You don't have to bring anything, but I'm <laughs> sure if you, ask, if, you, if you asked him for a delicacy, considering that you saved his son, and uh, 
you've agreed to keep his name out of it, he'll get you whatever you want. So information and whatnot uh, might be other things. So start thinking about like when you want to ask or talk to him about and write it down and bring it to next session. It'll make it more interesting rather than just being like, uh, where were we? And it's just like, just remember this now, right now. Like, questions I want to ask the head scion of the Orion Dragon Mark House. And then think about what you've done, you know, what you've played. Less so for Nas because he's here for along for the ride because Mordrum's dead, but that went in a totally different way than I was expecting it to go today. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we just and like then, walked uh, over his brother, like just it's fine. He's like, yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. But think about questions that you want to ask Alden Dorian because there's a wealth of information at your doorstep, and uh, it might be good to ask some questions. And there might be alternate avenues of adventure that open up if you guys ask the right question. That's all I'll say. I'm excited. First question, where's the wine cellar? I got all righty, boys. You guys have a good night. Later, dudes. Fairy fire is going to be so awesome Later. with all of you guys. I'll just, you know, give you all advantage and then you murder everything. But I'll name it like Laser Pointer. Alright, guys, I'm gonna Level. stop the stream. Oh, yeah, I can switch out one spell. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Later.